Discord bot Fredboat? Yes, yeah, just called Fredboat. I've unmuted my stream at this point, so just gonna put that out there. Oh, so don't say anything. <laughs> Hello, okay. everybody. Oh, We're not gonna talk well, about what someone said when they joined the voice chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if this Fredboat doesn't work, you could always try Hava. That's a new one. You can suck my fat cock, Josh. I know okay. what you're doing. Dang. What? Fine, we won't use Hava, Jesus. Fuck me, I I'm offer not, a solution. Not, you piece of shit. Dang. Have a dick in your throat? Is that what it is? Oh, no. <laughs> no, have a nice day. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh if she needs to Got him! him. Alright, how do you use Fredbot? Is it in here? <laughs> yeah. Uh... It's Fred Boat. Thank you. It's Frederick Boat. Thank you very much. <laughs> Frederick Botenson. Oh, um, I need the following permissions. To read text channels and see voice channels. You, you have give the it. permissions. He's a bo yeah, he's a mod. He has everything. I'm just gonna give him every single role until... Uh, they use they, them. Okay. Frederick Boat... Frederick Boatman is still upset with you. <laughs> Alright, what do they need? They need... Did, did you need a sacrifice? Do we need to go find a lamb? Did you get a Did you get a direct message from Fredboat? No. Oh. Let me go to my. What about from Mee Six? No. Rolls. And then. Bots. All right. What permissions does it need? Uh, I need the following permissions to perform that action. Read text channels and see voice channels. Very exciting stream so far. It has all of these permissions. <coughs> Alright. Here, give me a moment. Um... Alright, hit two semicolons and then hit P and then hit space and then put your link. I have fucked two semicolons. Don't ask me, I didn't make Fred Bow. Alright. Hit two semicolons and then hit join. You spaced it. <laughs> hey, there you go. Hi, Fred Bow. I see you're not deaf and say I know you can hear us. <laughs> Hi, Fred Bow. I deafen them because that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, Hydra's still here. I gotta fuck you, Hydra. Get out of here, bitch. Oh, don't deafen, don't deafen, Fred. Bro, let let the bot listen to the music too. Fred, boat, play something. You gotta do the play again because he wasn't part of the thing. I did it again. I skipped no, it. Did. Go oh, again. Oh, you did. <laughs> He's not doing anything. All right, you're broken. You're putting a space between the colon no. and the P. <laughs> no! It's giving you options! No! It's working now! <laughs> I told you you were putting a space for the P. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fred, no! Alright, well. <laughs> um, Get back here. Hold let on. me put on the actual music. So we can get started. Uh, I'll, you know, we'll put on some Adrian Von Seigler callback to World Master and I's first days. Play the fucking music. Oh, wait. It's in the queue. You're not playing. You're not doing that. <laughs> it only likes porn noises, I guess. <laughs> Here's the fucking music. music. Fucking song by them getaway boys. Remain sister song of ten hours. Fucking bullshit song. Oh, there, there you go. Oh my god. Now play it. <laughs> Oh, Fred Boat, you s- <laughs> Fred Boat, you dumb slut. <laughs> Alright. Let, 
me let me try my hand at this. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Which one did you want? One. First one. All right, Fred, both socks. I take it back. <laughs> Not fucking. <clears throat> Why you play porn so easy, Fred? Boat. <laughs> Fred Why YouTube got to be like, such an asshole. Yo, you want you want porn? I got you. Beep you one. The player is already playing, huh? Oh God. <laughs> I thought as soon as it joined, it like started playing and it perfectly left. Just like nope. Oh my god. Right, we're 15 <laughs> minutes into my stream. <laughs> Didn't we add. I could have sworn. Oh. No. Did we not add music to this? To what? To roll 20. Didn't I add music for you to roll 20 for this? Uh. I think you did, but I'm, I don't use it. <laughs> P. P, as in please. Okay, so it's not. Wait. <laughs> okay, so we play <laughs> porn sounds. Why? Play actual porn, Fred Boat. Come on, I don't need the sounds. I wonder if it just can't play anything from YouTube. That could be, could be an issue. But it's deep porn sound, sound of orgasm from YouTube. Alright, oh. well, that works. I think. I, I think. It stopped! What the fuck? <laughs> Damn it, Freddy! Hold on, I've got it, I've got an idea. <laughs> Good job. No audio could be found. You like, pulled it up! <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, this is our last attempt, okay? Alright, go fuck yourself, Fredbot. So we're gonna... I'm just gonna play music to myself, and you guys can, I don't know, work out your own shit. We can go go fuck ourselves. Um, okay. Uh, who would like to give a recap of our last session? Started off, we uh, if Gwent and Bryce ventured, oh god, looking for, uh, looking for where they could find, um, town wise after leaving uh, Laszlo and uh, fucking Baxter, yeah, Baxter, I don't know what I'm trying to, trying to think of his name, um, behind in that house, um, oh god. Jeez. I'm a genius! <laughs> what were we doing wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, good job, buddy. This is all we are going to listen to for the next two hours. <laughs> oh my god, two hours. Alright, con continue, Josh. Uh, we found this town that was riddled with undead. And managed to sneak our way into a home and slay the few that were inside. As we adventured, uh, we had, as we were exploring the house, we found a bedroom while Bryce was checking out a desk and completely uh, ignorant to the dangers around him. A blanket was pulled under the bed and Ifquint, uh, fearing the worst, quickly jumped into action and stabbed into the bed. Oh, you're very loud. Acknowledging that there could have been a person under that bed, not an undead, but mm, collateral damages would be worth it, nearly stabbed our new friend Eden. Uh, he was screamed and thankfully did not alert the undead to our presence. Uh, and we've, uh, begun traveling with her. Learned a little bit about the town, and does anyone want to take over from here? Anyone needs to talk? Do we want me to do the whole thing? About how Ifkling got fucked by the ghosts not long after. Uh, yeah, we adventured further into the town of Edinburgh, now with our new companion... Uh, Eden, uh, we came into a 
contact with some spirits and a ghost. Uh, while we were getting kind of bad friend touched by a ghost, we made a <laughs> new acquaintance in the shape of name. A what? What's your race? Do I even know? So their their name is Nee. It's pronounced Neve, by the way. Name. <laughs> 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 this race uh, where does the V Gaelic. come from? It's it's Gaelic phonetics. Oh, I, haven't, I haven't fixed the double H on the stream yet either. Hold on. Yeah, it's it's Gaelic phonetics. Just think, think N E E V. Neve spelled N I A M A. Neve. Love it. Neve. <laughs> um, we, I feel like we're really getting caught on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we fight some ghosts. Uh, Quinn was fucked and had to get knocked out. That was when we went to the yeah. next house where we found all the shadows and the, uh... Mm -hmm, they're, they're the like town, demon, the house after that, after we took a short rest. Yeah. We vanquished, totally by ourselves, didn't get saved by an NPC, vanquished all the spirits in the home, uh... Uh-huh. Settled down for a long rest, Bryce discovered the hidden notebook of Dethe, uh, kept that a secret from Eden... And as they set for their long rest, uh, that's uh, unless I'm missing something super important. We found the yes, uh, Eden killed the main shadow thing all on her own. Hey, hey, hey! Like went into the no, house, not, she not important. Just fucking smoked it. I know that somebody named Morin is dead. Someone named Hide is dead. Someone named Aramor is dead. Someone named Chamberlain is dead. A lot of people dead. are dead. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of fucking dead people. That's what it's surrounded by death. It's safe to assume everyone but Eden is dead. Eden and Dite, those and are the only ones. And now we're about to head about. to the Amor's Manor. Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. That is the mistake you're about to make. <laughs> um, no. Any questions, comments, concerns before we really get going? We're going to give up on the quest yeah. and just become farmers and never go to that manor. <laughs> if you could, I mean, technically, you could just like, like hell we are. I don't. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you guys <laughs> wanted to clear out the town and then just start a new town, I wouldn't <laughs> stop you. I would adjust and come up with, you know, that there's gonna be dangers in that. You know, you're gonna attract the forgotten. But Maybe I think that'd be interesting. In lack of a lack of women. What? And we're gonna start a town. I put all the work into something that's gonna die as soon as we're dead. Bryce just steps in front of. Uh, you know, <laughs> they're called travelers. Pe people that we wandered in here. Josh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so I'm gonna hope that women, particularly. Why are you so on this? <laughs> just let it go. Look, man. I mean, <laughs> you're the last. You're carrying the last dragon. Maybe you're the last dragonborn. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find, I am missing a couple of my encounters. Cause I had all of those pre-made. Here it is. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to continue going off of the same initiative as last time, just to kind of keep things easy. That way we can kind of flow easily in and out of combat. As we last left off, you were all in the top of the common house. You had all used the spell cat nap to take a rest and recover from your uh, fairly extren extenuous battle that you just went through. Uh, in your rest, uh, Bryce Sorrel found a notebook, admits a disturbing, creepy attic space, and decided to keep it himself for now. But now we awaken. The catnap has ended. You find yourself feeling more refreshed Eden is sitting in the same spot she was, kind of adjusted for comfort. Uh, you see she's still reading out of this journal from earlier, and you see uh, this, this uh, not a, it's like a necklace that's been kind of repurposed into a bracelet around her right wrist, and it, it resembles the material of that uh, item in her forehead there. What do we do? All right, kind of uh, getting up that morning. I just kind of take inventory, make sure it looks like everything we had is still kind of in and around us. Yeah, 
It does not appear anything has been tampered with. It does not appear as if any other figures passed through. Well then, um, <clears throat> out of the two of you asleep, are you feeling refreshed? I suppose. For it felt more like a nap. <laughs> felt more like a nap than anything. Are you prepared for what comes next, or do we need to prepare a little more? Depends what we're up against out there. Well, probably undead of some nature. I don't suppose you would have any particular idea what's going to be facing us within the house, do you, Eden? Uh, she looks up at you, closes the book. Um, <clears throat> I, I mean, most of the creatures in there were killed already, but I mean, there's just her left, a couple of small things. What is your plan? Do you wish to accompany us or stay here? I'll go with you. Uh, Only if you want to. You didn't find the journal, right? I did. Oh. Uh, how is it? it does it... Does it exonerate him? You know, how's it look? It doesn't incriminate him, but it doesn't bold well for him either. I figured everyone needed a rest before I showed it to you. Forgive me What's for it? lying to you. What's it say? I will uh, pull the journal out of my bag and I'll uh, tentatively hand it to her. She, uh, she reads through it, and when she's finished, she kind of puts it down, lets out a deep sigh. Shit, that's not good. If he's alive and he holds his sanity, we'll do what's within our power to capture him. Perhaps see what he knows, but if he's undead, or even the cause of all of this, you understand that he's a danger to us, right? I mean, this isn't... this doesn't... Like I said, it doesn't incriminate him. It just doesn't exonerate him. Have they seen it? And she kind of points at the other two. No, they have not. She'll, she just kind of gets up wordlessly and hands the book over to Ithwin. Um, Terry, would you have... Actually, I'll pull it up and I'll post it in the public chat. Like I just did? Oh, you did? Where? <laughs> Check out uh, Roll20. Good job. Yay! Proud of you! You're such a I'm good so lad. good. I'm a good boy. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, so so she hands the book over to you, if Quint, and that's the that's what you find. Oh. It was in a gun. Somebody lost their mind. <laughs> Got a 20 good, 26 good boy score. Quality. Uh, when you're done reading it, she'll kind of take it out of your hands and hand it to, um, hand it to Neve. Uh, do you wear a mask, Neve? Yes, yes, she does. It uh, looks like a verb. It looks hard like a to gauge Neve's facial expressions as they read it, right? Yeah, it you can't see their face whatsoever. It's it's entirely concealed. Okay. Oh, I thought you could see the eye, the eyes at least. So, okay, okay. Just big, big, two big golden orbs. So it's yep, squinting, looking at it. Anything in there sound familiar to you? 
Not in the slightest. <laughs> she just tossed the book back at you. It's like, I, I don't know anything about that. Well then. I suppose we're wasting daylight. So, the next plan is... The Amor Manor. See if we can sneak past the courtyard once again, or do you think it's better to take them out so they can't follow us in? I... She'll kind of head, like, downstairs. Actually, no, no uh, there's a probably a window. And that would make sense. So she heads to a window and she kind of looks out and examines the courtyard. I've seen you take down worse groups but I don't know if there's any more hiding and they might come out afterwards or during the battle. I think, like I said, there is a, there's an entrance through the, the back window of the Amor Manor. It's a bit of a climb, but we've managed to avoid the crowd. <clears throat> Once we're inside, um, like I said, most creatures were killed off during the initial raid but uh, Lady Amor is still there. I, I don't know what ever happened to her. Well, how about you lead us to this back entrance and we'll go from there. Would it, be, would it be safe to assume it would be more dangerous to travel by night here? That's a pretty safe assumption, yeah. Well, I can't see in the dark, so... Most of these creatures can. If you want to follow me, uh. <clears throat> Quint, you're quiet. What do you think? What was that? I said, Quint's being quiet. Oh, What's he thinking? Yeah. Uh, well. I'd rather deal with the least undone as we have to. We could certainly take care of whatever the hell, whatever the hell could be out there, you know, draw whatever around, slay them, take a bit to rest. But I'd not, I'd rec I think we should not fight if we can help it before we go in there. We don't know how many spirits may be in there. Those fucking things that were in the obsess me. So if we're gonna go in, if we're gonna do this today, we should go in there as quiet as possible. I if agree. don't mind another day, I don't mind slaying whatever is undead. Would it would keep this place, make this place a little bit safer for anybody else who passes through? If the fight would be as tough as the fight that we just had here, I'd personally rather wait a day. <clears throat> this is after the end of a long rest, right? This is after uh, catnap. Yeah, catnap's only a short rest. <laughs> oh, I thought we took that and then took the long rest. Oh, no, that, I, I was also under the impression we took a short rest oh. with catnap and then long rested. Yeah, oh. basically get ourselves... Because uh, my strength was gone. And I, I was... I a short rest. I was unaware that you took a long rest, but I can do a quick roll real quick and yeah, check some it. things. You said it was okay. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> Saying the catnap was expediting the, the long rest is what you're trying to say. Because we just Basically wanted to do giving the us the just strength. to be safe in case we got ambushed on a long rest. Exactly. <laughs> have our health, have Quint's strength not in the in the single digits. Okay. You're all good. <laughs> yeah, then okay. we'll say it's the next morning and we're good. So does that change what you were thinking then, uh, Neve? Yeah, yeah, if we got the, yeah, if we got the long rest, we're happy. Okay. All right, so I'm leading you to the manor then. Mine as possible. All right, she'll kind of lead you downstairs and then to this door here that's kind of closest to the Amor Manor, and then she'll lead you out into the court. <laughs> I, what's up? Oh, I'm sorry, Terry was sending me. He sent me. I sent you a circle. Fix it. <laughs> 
screen for you. Sure. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to have you all roll stealth checks for me real quick. Let me find her stat block. Anything to add on to this, anybody? I mean, uh, if we feel the mighty need for a pass without trace, I can get that applied. It's up to you. Sure. I'll do that. I'll take one for the team. I'll, I'll, I'll cast us some pass without trace. So, yeah, so we are we getting an adult beverage? So, so the so the big boy can get by, sne sneaky beaky like. Oh, no, no, we're good. We're good if you want to save that spell slot. Wow. Well, um, I would have to decide it before or after. Well, no, it's really it'd be before, not after. Do you want to go ahead and roll yourself? Yeah, let me roll myself. Yeah, let me... Are we casting it? Yes or no? Let's decide that right now. Uh, I already decided, then he rolled, so we'll, we'll just say I did it. Okay. Stealth check, stealth check. Okay. And that is with advantage, by the way. You get advantage okay. from what? Cloak of the bad, baby! It's daytime. Uh, no, the flight only is affected by night. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You... Alright, yeah, so with your stealth scores... 35, it's... baby. <laughs> yeah, you make it all the way over. Um... It's you're nearly silent in your movement thanks to the addition of the spell and these creatures. You see they're kind of milling about, but they seem to be slowing down as if maybe the daylight is making them a little more uh, lethargic. But you all manage to make it across the way. Here, Eden kind of walks to the left side of the manor and then points up, and you see that there is like looking at it head on. You you don't notice anything, but she kind of shows you that if you like point your head at a certain angle, you can see a few of the stones are raised out of the wall, allowing you to climb up them to a window on the first floor. Bottom woman, bottom left, should we fear her? It's bottom right, and yes, I fixed it. Definitely <laughs> fear her. That is the god of this realm, of course. Like, uh, I think that's Earth. the yeah map maker. Yeah, we should damn well fear her. She will. Sl she is watching us. <laughs> Anyways, so you get to the manor and she kind of points up, and then she turns back to you all. Well, oh, this is the way inside. Like I said, uh, L Lady Amor's probably still in there, but I don't know her status. She didn't. She wasn't doing too great last time I was here. Well, you've done more than enough. If you don't wish to accompany us, you can stay here, head back to the common house, or you can journey with us past this. She kind of looks up, and then wordlessly, she starts I'm acrobatic real quick. Hello? Uh, hi, I have to go for a sec. I'll be back in like 20 seconds. If you all can roll acrobatics. Hi, Anson. Hey, Anson. They say hi. Hi. Acrobatics? Oh, boy. Yes, uh, I'll be back. Burp, 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 Did somebody burp. say get high? <laughs> I'm getting another scam from Venmo. I don't even use Venmo. This is the second time I've gotten this text. It goes... Dear Venmo user, you've been selected to receive a free gift valued of at least $100 for a two-minute survey. Thanks oh, my God. for using God. Venmo. <laughs> it's at least $100 free dollars. Golly, at least. Oh, man. Good thing I use Venmo so much. So what do you guys think of the new uh, stream overlay? It's Neat. nice. Looks nice. Neat over Reno. I'm wondering if I should add our handles underneath our frames since i have ghosty woo's handle don't <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh you both didn't do very good what well, did you get i usually oh. give quint I, I didn't use and i usually always give you guidance if quinn so i guess ask ask add guidance sure sure i'll go 
think hey, so. Hey, 14, that might be enough. <laughs> well, if we're trying to climb up, that's why it's like, oh, God. I didn't give you guidance. I can only give it to one person at a time. Yes. I wish you could use athletics, then it could have been a 13. 17 with guidance. It's normally, shady, but the matter house, house could exactly just fly up that, there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's your race again? Oh, it was dim light. Yeah, that's how you fly. You can uh, polymorph into a bat, can't you? I am an Eladrin. You can just teleport in. I already, <laughs> no, I'm fucking. You know, I already. I already no, I, I, waste. You can turn into I, a I bat. Use that, I, no. I already used that in the owl fight. No, new it's day. Been a long rest, my guy. True. True. Bro, I keep, you get blindsight with that shit. You can just like do a pass through as a bat. Brain from, uh, my brain is fried from learning macros all day, Chief. Like, oh, you don't gotta learn macros if you use D and D oh Beyond. <laughs> I got, I got potato brain. Yeah, no, good. no, if it's shady back here, once, once the DMs, like, if it's shady back here, I could technically just fly up if it's dark enough. While we're waiting, I'll get myself an alcoholic. Hey, I'm back. It's 4.40, okay, so it's almost I'll 5 o'clock here. So I see that the acrobatics didn't go well. Well, I gave no. Ithquint guidance, so he got a 14. I don't ignore know why he rolled a 3. <laughs> yeah, ignore, yeah, ignore that one. Ignore that number. So, that's not good. <laughs> no. Hey, Bryce got a 23. Yeah, so you guys watch as... Um, Eden kind of shows you the path and kind of crawls her way up and she, the window is like ever so slightly cracked open. She like pushes it all the way and crawls in. And then Bryce, you kind of come in pretty easily, you know, no issues on your way up. What's up? Nothing. Fuck off. And then <laughs> uh, if Quint, you make the attempt and you fall on your ass, as does Neve. You're, you're just not like, you saw Eden show you the path. You can kind of see the bricks you're supposed to use, uh, but just when you're on it, they're hard to see and you can't really. Well, if I'm not in immediate danger up here, I'm gonna like put my hand, put my head in my hands, be like, ah, oh, god, god damn it, and I'll throw a rope down so they can like pull themselves up with their go. strength. <laughs> just athletics to climb. <laughs> yeah, if you want to use athletics, I'll allow that. Are we on the shady side of the house? Fuck <laughs> me, Quinn. <laughs> Guidance, my friend. I mean, you already rolled. It's probably too late. I have really bad news. Even with guidance, he's not making it. Oh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I was saying it earlier that if I could have... Shady side. I'll guidance uh, Nave, then. I'd say no. Okay. Nave, you have guidance now. Okay, we will attempt acro. We will attempt athletics, and then let's. Hey. Okay, you make your way up. <laughs> it's Quinn, get your fat ass up here. <laughs> it's Quinn, you're like you're <laughs> you're recovered for the most part, but you're still feeling sore from the the oh, assault you received the night before. You have one more attempt before you're gonna have to go a different He's route. He's trying to climb the rope, but his scales right, are give me thick. <laughs> Alright, give me gun. Alright, tell us I... Tell us I was... Are you got an 18? Okay, okay. <laughs> you pass. I do! You get up, and you kind of crawl your way in, and <sighs> as you get in there, you're just like... <sighs> Fuck me. See, that wasn't right. so hard. Was... You're inside. Let me. So the map is backwards. Uh, just ignore it. Um, if you can, play, I'll ban you. So you guys. The ah, map shit. is backwards. Fuck. Shit, you guys aren't supposed to see any. I forgot the shadow. All right, I'm gonna put my fingers go. on the map where the tokens oh, were, so now I know where they're at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Get... Nick, <laughs> Nick, get my wet erase marker. I need to mark my laptop. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are in a room. You're here. Okay, pull your tokens in. Let me find Eden. At this also. time, when we get out, you just hear a little... And it, you just see a little Chlora pop out of his backpack, because I'm going to activate it now to have three hours of, of little dragon time. I need to make... Um, 
like character sheets for Eden and uh, Noah oh, Baxter. Um, Ellie, so I mind. sent uh, in our dis like our uh, our DM chat on Discord, not the not your channel. Uh, yeah. There was a link for a D&D Beyond campaign. If you want to, at some point, if you want to click that, it's, it has content share, so you'll have access to all the D&D Beyond books. Oh, shit. I didn't, so you I can make characters with all the sources. You can do that later, though. You, I promise you, did not send that to me. <laughs> no, it was in, like, the Banished Land uh, DM group chat. Oh. I have to look at that later. Anyways, um, here you all are. You are in this pixelated room. You see there's a fireplace here. Give me back uh, my pixels. <laughs> you see a couple of desks adorned with general, n nothing of value. It seems mainly like tools of business, lots of ink, paper, items to kind of keep track of numbers and the such. If Quint. Yes. I don't suppose you're willing to throw up your magical detection, are you? You're not. And, uh, we'll activate his, for the one free casting of Detect Magic for ten minutes. And we'll scan for any magic in the area. Walking towards the door. Um. Magic. Alright, so you're just doing a general detect magic? Yeah. I mean... Does that have to be in sight? It has to be within... Mm -hmm. Let me just say, it is... Is it like uh, within 30 feet, it is anything that is not blocked by a foot of stone, an inch of metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood, or dirt. And it's just going to last for 10 minutes, so it's like, <clears throat> as we try to give you the To anything. give you the DM description... He doesn't get to see what's magical. He just senses that there is something magical nearby. And okay, can go yeah. through three feet of wood, one foot of stone, one inch of metal. You like you'll just kind of see a wall. I get it. I get oh. it. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> you detect. I don't need to explain three times. You detect general necromancy in the area. This place reeks of necromancy. Keep an eye. He'll uh, slowly try and open this door. Okay, uh, I need you to roll stealth. Oh, God. Let me do a chest. Uh, cast without a trace is still going, yeah? It's 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Is it? Oh. That is an amazing point. Let me check <laughs> their perception. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh god, that sounds like that <laughs> sounds like the sound. Nineteen plus of... five. <laughs> okay, yeah. Even pass without trace wasn't helping that then. You, you like, you like, you take the handle and you like, you kind of check. You make sure no noise comes from it. You slowly turn it, and then you you push the door a tad to see if it creaks, and it doesn't. And then you push it a little further, and then it's like. And like creaks open, and like as you open it, <laughs> there's this. <laughs> Let me area reveal really quick. <laughs> there's a skeleton at the door, and their head just turns at you like the audacity. And it doesn't <laughs> attack; it just stares at you. Like right next to us, huh? Just... Yeah, like right there. <laughs> Like, I would say less than a foot from the, like, the swing of the door. What do you see? <laughs> Two thoughts yeah. come to mind. Immediate violence and just close the door right now. <laughs> uh, I'll flip a coin. Give me a moment. Have a nice day. Understand. Have a nice day. Close the door. <laughs> close the door. You just close the door? close the door and draw a sword. <laughs> Alright. You close the door. You, no sounds happen. You don't hear any, like, sounds of alarm. I cast, uh... 
minor illusion at like the bottom of the door to make it look like smoke is rolling out like this room's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, now they think there's flames in here, they won't come in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or they'll, uh, or they'll come in to put them out. Even better. <laughs> Continue your journey, I guess. What do you do next? All right. Well, so, what if we break down this do wall? <laughs> Let's just demo this wall. We'll have the, you know, we'll, we'll merge the rooms together, you know. As long as it's not a load bearing wall. No, I think we have to fight them. Yeah, I'm aware. I know I'll open the door. <laughs> You'll open the door again? Yeah. Open the door again? yeah. Right, let me try so... something very quick. Okay. Upon opening, you oh, see they got closer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the, ske the skeleton is not moved. This the ghosted. <laughs> you don't see that yet. You're not opening the door enough. You just see the skeleton. <laughs> oh shit! A ghost got closer. There. <laughs> so you see, the skeleton just like turns its head back towards you, looks at you for I'd say a solid five seconds, and then turns its head back, looking at this main entrance here. And. Uh, give me a perception check just to kind of get an idea. Uh, per perception. Silas, be with you. Oh, never mind. Ponders. <laughs> uh, looking down, you see a pile of, like, destroyed undead here. Skeletons, ghouls, ghasts, all kind of lying here. Many of them have claw marks. Many have arrows kind of sticking out of them. Well, I've played fast. Okay. Oh, uh, I, I was going to say they seem to be blocking the door. What about Phasmophobia? I was like, I've played Phasmophobia, so I have an idea that will either work perfectly or make this even more difficult. Bryce is going to look at, like, the <laughs> skeleton and be, uh, Ah, yes. Would you do me a favor and let Lady Amor know that we've come to visit her? Give me a persu persuasion check. <laughs> hey. It... It turns its head back towards you, and it kind of like looks you up and down, and then in a very slow nod, and it turns around and starts walking this way. Pretend the tokens are further apart. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say there. Goes look how far he went. Oh wow! Um, what okay. do you what do you do in the in the thirty seconds? <laughs> um, Bryce will take the lead. Yeah, he'll okay, so come out. Say what he notices. And Oh my god. Pain this unaligned map. As you're going out, Eden Eden is like, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, I got this. She alright, she stays here. Alright, uh there'll there'll be a safe word. I'll scream very loudly if we need help. <laughs> As you come out, you see these two kind of mass undeads. Uh and then you see the skeleton over here and you see the skeleton is talking to this spirit floating in the air very regal victorian clothes you can see like embedded in jewels and her hair is like floating as if deep underwater and then the skeleton kind of like points back towards you and the the ghost looks up at you all bryce will like take a bow next one will do as well follow his lead What do you wish with my manor? Lady Amor, I presume. The rumors of your beauty are underwhelming in front of the real thing. I believe you dodged the question. Forgive my manners. You may call me Bryce Sorrel. I have come seeking to ask you a question and perhaps a favor. She'll kind of, like, look up. And the dragon? She's looking at the dog. is the tear. I serve as it Bryce's guard. She nods. One of the best bodyguards that a coin can buy. I am Elania Amor. What do you want from me? Well, you see, myself and my companions have traveled into this place in search of possible trade, but we have found ourselves unable to leave. We were wondering if you could arrange such a 
route of travel for us. While I understand your request, there's no way out. If that's what you've come seeking, I'm very sorry to disappoint you. A follow-up question, then, if you would allow it. Of course. We are searching for a young gentleman who goes by the name of Dithe. I don't suppose you have seen him. Roll insight. Okay. And I as well, since I'm right here. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> oh, God! Assuming I'm hearing the conversation through the door, may I roll insight? <laughs> no, if it, was a, it was a visual cue, sorry. <laughs> Can Silas uh, roll eye insight? Insight? <laughs> he's a familiar, he's, a, he's his own creature. I'm sorry. This Dithe you seek, I have not seen since the, the raid. Never mind. <laughs> um, well, it is a lovely home you have here. I don't suppose you'd be willing to give us a tour. What are you seeking? Well, if it's as you say, then it's true that we cannot leave this place. Perhaps then... My next goal is to just familiarize myself with it. Surely that makes sense, does it not? My cat knocked my microphone over. Good job, is, please. Is that your goal, or are you looking for the barrier? Dub yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask to be like escorted around, and then if we find the barrier, then sweet, sweet. But if we don't, then we know where it's not. Okay, she'll she'll kind of look you up and down. As you are among the living, you have free reign to travel my estate. The undead inside will not attack you. They are under my control. But don't venture out. It's a very different story. Do I believe her? Um, yeah, I, I won't even have you roll insight if she seems forthcoming. Very well, then. Yes, Quint, why don't we explore the, this fine home? What do you do? Yeah, Quint. Thinking, like, why would he be like, hey, let's explore this home right in front of the owner of the home? <laughs> We've been given permission. access to check it out. All right. Well, I'll just go then. Which direction would you recommend? Where would you like to start first? Just kind of like under my breath. I'm like, well, let's test her truthfulness and I'll make my way downstairs towards this undead and see if it interacts with me at all. The closer you get, it'll like kind of turn its head towards you and like looks you up and down, but it, it doesn't strike you or anything. Mm. It'll kind of like step out of the way. As you come down, you see here against the wall under Lady Amor is a large like massive, like, a little larger than a person's size, probably around Ithquint size portrait, depicting a more, uh, in her youth before, you know, yeah. ghost. I will kind of, uh, bring Silas up since he's my arcane focus and I will kind of uh, whisper into his ear kind of looking off into the direction we came from the stairs and I'll cast a message towards Nave. Neve. Any... Neve. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> In time. Nave. I'm almost impressed at this point. You've met. You've known me long enough to know that names are yeah. in the <laughs> <laughs> Then spell it that way! <laughs> <laughs> right, just keep going. Oh, God. Jesus. I'll cast a message, I'll be. We're going to investigate. Should anything strange happen, make a ruckus and we'll hear it. You can reply to this message. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, do I see any other doors downstairs? No, no doors. Um, it's just the painting, the stone stairwells leading to the upstairs. This is a door right here. 
Yeah, that's upstairs, though. Bryce will investigate the painting. He'll look at the likeness of her in life and then the likeness of her in death. And he'll just uh, get all hoity-toity, like, like, you truly are a humble, beautiful ruler of your house. <laughs> Roll investigation. Okay. Hey, I think I'm good at those. Um, any chance I can have Silas guide me? Uh, like, guidance on yourself? Yeah. I would think this is too sudden of a okay. thing. Yeah. It's always your call. You notice the ghost, her cheeks seem a little more sunken, her eyes a little darker. You know, as if she hasn't slept for a very long time than in this portrait. And you remember, like, Typically, when a person dies, they look how they did, like, at their best. So it's a little odd that she looks disheveled. Hmm. Yeah. Look back to it's like, if Quint, uh, how you looking? You looking tense? <laughs> He's ready to fight at any moment. He's... He has done what he, he's doing what he can to keep up the charade of being your bodyguard. Um, if he can do it un, uninterrupted, Bryce will kind of head towards this door. Upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Nothing stands in your way. Um, when you get up there, the door is unlocked, and I shall reveal the room. He'll just do a quick scan, see if he knows anything magical. Assuming ten minutes hasn't passed yet. Just like goes, I said uh, earlier. Just a real room. bed. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like a very nice Oh, it's been so long. Bedroom. Probably shouldn't sleep in the bed without permission, but oh. I <laughs> uh, what's this? Door? Yep, and you can open it without issue. Bringing you to a small bathroom. Um, kind of like having Ithquint follow me, hopefully. Yep. Are you detecting anything with your magic? Just more general necromancy. Is there perhaps Such. a specific flow to it? Does it lead to one direction? Does it pull or push away from somewhere? That is a good question, GM. Do I notice any sort of type current or anything? <laughs> It's primarily emanating from the undead. Okay. Mainly um, the undead. The living undead, that is. Well then. Checks under the checks under the bed real quick, just to see. <laughs> just in case there's another child. No Eden, no children. No other children, okay. Well then. When we head back out there, do you want to check the door on the left or the door on the north? I say we go right to the left. North goes to the that, that ghost. If Bryce will kind of lead to, the way, kind of like the time to attack, keeping the closer. keeping the appearance that he's like he's just like sightseeing the manor, and like as he kind of passes the the lady of the house, he'll nod again. Just it is quite a lovely manner that you uh, quite a lovely manner. She'll kind of like float back, so she's like ten feet in the air, and she'll look at you. I appreciate it. It was yes. built by my ancestors. And as he passes the undead, he'll look left and right. And your servants are very well-mannered. It's so hard to find good help these days. Yes. You just hear in your mind you're trying to say something about me, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I didn't think you could pick up on me. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> Another nice bedroom. This one seems to be maybe her own room. You can see a few portraits of depicting family members. A little, a little mm -hmm. desk uh, here with some like kind of memorabilia, uh, some old journals that seem to have faded to dust, and a, a very luxurious bed. Well, you check under the bed. I know you want to. I'll get the door. <laughs> <laughs> here you find a small office space. Again, most of the paper and journals are rotted away. Um, but this seems just another financial area where she kind of kept up the town. 
maintaining commerce and keeping things calm. Anything under the bed? Oh. No, nothing yet. It's still just general necromancy by the... from everything around us. And that ghost, does he kind of like open... he just kind of passes by the door walking in. I'm pretty sure I just saw her go into another room. Well... I've never been much of a strategist when it comes to the art of battle, but... I can't help but think that we have a war on two fronts as we speak. This would be a chance to... He kind of like leans in close to make sure that he's like whispering. I could give the signal to Neve. We could spring out of here and start our assault. What do you think? It hurt. Especially if she's not around, we could take care of the undead, leaving just her, hopefully. Do we attempt our attack now, or do we see where she went? Give me a moment, as, um, let me just check something real quick. Let me just see, um... Do you speak, Neve, do you speak Draconic at all? I do not. Okay, so that's gonna be useless, can't do anything with that. All right. It's as good a time as any. Very well. I'll find whatever is behind that last door afterwards, considering she went in there. <sighs> and sound a battle like we drove her out. I will again uh, pull Silas up close and whisper into his ear, and I will cast Sending towards Neve. We're in a position that if we both attack from our respected areas, we should have a strategical advantage. Are you ready? Hi, I'm ready. How is Eden? How is Eden? Very good question. Eden's <laughs> kind of pacing. Pacing? Act, nervous. Yeah, just looks nervous. If any okay, well, get her attention. Oh, I'll, I'll get her attention. And I'll I'll start making like a chopping motion with my hand towards the door to indicate we're going to be attacked. We're we're about to we're about to get the jump on him. Give me a second. I right, she gets it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send one more message to Neve. Uh, should any harm befall the child, just know that Ithquint is eager to restock his rations. Are you going to eat Eden? No, I'm threatening him. <laughs> You're threatening if, Neve to protect Eden? If Eden gets hurt, we're going to hurt him. <laughs> he's, he's supposed to protect her. Oh, okay, okay. I should clarify, Neve is a woman. <laughs> Alright, what do y'all do? <laughs> you have an owl mask on. Bryce doesn't know. Alright, uh, I just, like... Tap, uh, tap Ithquint on the shoulder. I'll give him guidance for his initiative roll, and I'll say, All right, I'll trust you. You start this. Make a lot of noise so they know what we're doing. So what, the, what do I do, GM, considering I know you said we're keeping initiative from last time. I don't even remember what the hell the initiative was. This would technically be a surprise round as you are kind of attacking out of the blue. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, I guess all of you would get an action. Uh, I mean, if I don't really mind too much of initiative um, in a surprise round. So if Ithquint wants to go first, that's fine. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. He will run out. Like, just want to walk out. Ca all casual, like... Kind of casually walk over uh, here, <laughs> kind of looking around for it's a like, moment. It's like as a uh, Clora kind of, Clora just kind of scurries from his shoulder down around to the side, and just in the flash, just 
stab from Ithquent, bite from Clora, and when his thing hits, adding the extra d6 of lightning damage. Roll attack with advantage. Um, like a Monty Python skit. <laughs> like do 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 do. Wait, oh, I forgot to add the, the Clara thing. I forgot to click it. Okay, fourteen between slashing and lightning. Let me and... add damage. Total of twenty-one overall. All right. In a moment, this beast is felled. Uh, Bryce, Eden, or Neve, who's next? We'll go ahead and let Eden do a thing. She'll have kind of gotten in position as you as you were all <laughs> yeah, as you were acting very casually. Let me check her attacks. Um, Oh, wow. Yeah, so she... Wait, does she get advantage? Does... Sneak attack, I think, gives you advantage, doesn't it? No. Or like a surprise? No. Mm -hmm. They can't take reactions, but you don't get advantage. I, 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 I mean, at least, you know, the way I'd rule it, since it was more of a, hey, we'll suddenly walk up and then attack out of nowhere, no, whereas if you were just immediately jumping in with on the jump on them. Um... <laughs> Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna dub. She doesn't get it. Uh, so yeah, she kind of walks up and then she makes like a stab into the skeleton's back, and then you just kind of hear a, like a, a click, and you see that her dagger has gone like in that spot between the ribs entirely, not <laughs> oh, touching no, it. Oh no, she's just like, <laughs> and she's just like, shit. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> Neve and Bryce, my little girl. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Um, does this guy look like he's wielding melee weapons, or is it like a bow, like the token shows? Uh, like it, like the token shows. Okay. Um. Well, seeing that, Bryce is going to have Silas fly over towards the skeleton, and Bryce is going to kiss the skeleton. <laughs> oh my. Giving the help action to whoever tries to stab that skeleton next, they'll have advantage. Nice. It's uh, so so distracted. And then Bryce <laughs> is going to take his action to... Uh, he's going to shoot this zombie down here. Alright, roll AC. Boom! Damn, don't even, like, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you do it? Do you just, like, in the head? So Bryce, like, kind of, like, uh, with one hand, uh, pulls the bow off, uh, floats Silas over, knocks the arrow, looks to the door, not even looking down at the target, shoo, arrow to the head that strikes through to the spine, crippling it, just keeps his eye on that door to make sure that uh, if he sees Lady Amor come out, he'll be able to see her. Mm -hmm. uh, Neve, it's your turn. Cool. Um, assuming this door's open here, and this, this dude's distracted. Yeah. We'll produce pay. It will it will produce flame and a fast pitch, a, 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 a little mode of fire, right, 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 center man. You should have advantage, right? Because of the health uh, action, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just health action, correct. Mm -hmm. Only for one attack, though. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Roll damage. Fuckers, that will be. Beep boop. Eleven fire damage. All right. Uh, how much health does this thing have? Amazingly, it is still standing. It's no. still standing. <laughs> and we're going to go into initiative. Uh, do you want to put on some creepy battle music since Fredbot likes you? Yeah, that's fine. And then, if Quint, roll your d4 to see if your initiative gets any better. I mean, wouldn't it get better by at least one? So. Yeah. Um... I mean, the only the creature you could get over with a D four is dead. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Top of initiative, Bryce. Put on that music, and Bryce, it's your turn. Perfect. Uh, 
All right, my turn? Yeah. Um, I'm going to have... Um, can I have Silas take the help action again and then shoot at this guy? Yes. All right, cool. So Silas is going to, uh, he goes from a light kiss on the lips to, like, it'd be a neck kiss, but it's a skeleton, so he's biting the skeleton's neck. (laughs) Very confusing. (laughs) Bryce is even like, what the fuck? All right, uh, seven damage. It's dead. Like, that fucks his... (laughs) destroy it. And you see Eden kind of, like, stumbles back and, like, falls against the wall. It's a little odd to have seen her in action earlier mm-hmm. and now seeing her now very, like, uncomfortable in battle. And then I'm gonna have Silas fly back to me and hold him in my other hand. Okay. I just so look over turn. to Ithquint. I go, if you get possessed by a ghost again, by the gods, <laughs> you will be punished for it. Is that your, is that your turn? Um, I'm going to... Well, that inspiration Ten feet said. down and good to go. Oh, uh, yeah, Bardic Inspiration with that. Okay. Snide <laughs> Vomit. <laughs> I don't want to be possessed by a ghost as much as you don't want me to be possessed by a ghost, okay? Alright. It's not that hard, just have proficiency in charisma saves. <laughs> with that, we are going to go into the next turn. I'm going to roll something real quick. Let me pull out my phone app. Taking a photo, are we? No, no, uh, just rolling dice. How much health does she have? Uh Uh-oh. You watch and you see Lady Moore come floating through the wall and look between you all. um, And she... You notice she looks like, as she takes in the sight, she becomes more disheveled. Her hair begins floating more wildly, and she seems very visibly angry. I believe that you were guests, weren't you? And she raises her... What hand would that be? Her left hand, and in a single shot, you see this bolt of icky darkness come flying out of her, and it hits Eden, like, on the, like... Right shoulder, and you see her like kind of like stumble back and in, in pain, and then you see all these black tendrils erupt out of the ground and wall around her, pulling her against it, and you see her begin choking and go unconscious. And she backs up towards Eden, looks towards all of Fuck you. Neve, you had one job. I suggest we stop this now. Is there a way out of here? I don't know what you want me to say. I can't change reality. Where the barrier keeps is us all Dithe? in. Dithe, I have not seen since the raid. Then take us he to the barrier and, this... and we can end this. I would, but I don't know where it is. She seems like, like huffing in anger right now. These are all questions you could have asked before killing the help. It's hard to get good ones these days. Don't I know? Do you want to do anything, or are we going to play this out and Eden's going to die? Are we we in initiative still? Uh, I mean, I'm allowing you to talk if you want. What's your insight? uh, Can I insight to see how much of it is like... Her actually telling the truth and being pissed that we didn't listen versus, oh my fucking god, they just killed my help. What the fuck is wrong with these people? You, I'm not going to have you, well, real insight, yeah. She seems just genuinely frustrated at all of this. And it's like, when she says, like, these are all things you could have asked before, she doesn't seem to be lying. It just seems like she's, like, holding her head in anger. Just like, we could have solved this easily. I will say, Eden is, like, choking. Like, she is at negative one health right yeah, now. Yeah, I know, I know. I, like, if, if I can, I'll, I'll heal her, but I don't know if I'm able, able to right now because we're in initiative. You are in initiative. I, I, I'm i allowing you to talk, but should you decide to attack, we're going to go back into it. Yeah, so, um, 
I'm kind of looking over towards Eden on the ground, and I'm obviously worried about that. I'm willing to talk, but I'm going to try to cast a healing word. She'll allow that. Rise. And uh, I'll heal her for 9 HP. Okay. You'll see she kind of, like, comes to, and she kind of starts to freak out about the tendrils, but she can't really do anything about it. Get behind Neve. You'll have to forgive me, Lady Amor. You see, we've been in your town for all but a few hours, and everything that we've run into has tried to kill us. You can understand us being a little paranoid, can't you? My, it's almost as if you should respect the one helpful thing in this godforsaken town. You want the barrier. I'll help you find it. But again, this could have been solved much easier. Oh. Ithquint. Neve. Let's see if she can help us, shall we? That adult <laughs> fight you're trying to say out of character. Yes, Ithquint, put your sword away. I said that out of character. <laughs> That's in the of that character. As he'll sheath his sword reluctantly as Clara like runs up and like scuttles We've up. We've reason his leg to up believe that the barrier the resides somewhere within your manor. Are you dropping initiative? I mean I'm willing to. Yes, Logan? For now. Yeah, sure. Sure, we'll, we'll hear out, yeah, if everyone else wants to. At the drop of the weapons, you'll see she doesn't release the tendrils, but you see that they do loosen where Eden can breathe more easily. She kind of looks between you all. It would make sense that the Amor barrier is centered in the manor, yes. Then I find it strange that you don't know where it resides, if this is your home. Well, you see, there was a complication. I died! Tends to mess with the memories, friend. <sighs> it emits from a st some great stone. I don't suppose that rings any bells, does it? <sighs> no. I've seen it. As a child, I remember that. I don't remember where it was stored. Do you want to turn off the music? Yes. Man, I'm really sad. I I almost killed Eden because you guys are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I'm like, oh, yes, a new favorite NPC, you guys are like, oh, we'll leave them alone. It's fine. <laughs> Change your mind. Murder hobo time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She'll kind of look you up and down. It has something to do with the painting. That's all I know. Oh, I'm bound to this manor, so I can't really explore too much. Bryce is going to open this door. What's up here? The painting. Which painting? The one like down here? Yeah, the one down there. Is it movable? Of these chests. Ah, oh, look at the chests. <laughs> wow, she went to. She went. To, oh wait, no, I'm at the bed. It's I'm like, like my, a Foot Locker. <laughs> they have, they have like toys in them. Oh, uh, like children toys. Oh, uh, does it look like get something nice for Eden? I'm about to say, do I see something that I think Eden might like? <laughs> Eden the teddy bear. You don't know how old she is. You've never asked, so you don't like. I quite find. Know, I like... find the most mature toy. <laughs> is there a teddy bear? Ugh. Oh. Thing and cool. then I find a toy that is the most deranged in case we find Dethe. <laughs> there's like a. <laughs> okay, so there's like a, a top. Like, you know, like spinners where you like twist it and like spins on the ground, right? Yeah. The top, yeah. You find one of those and you're like, Eden might like that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you find like a half eaten bouncy ball and you're like, oh yeah, Dethe will want Dethe. that. <laughs> Pocket. <laughs> you know what? I'll actually, I'll put, the, I'll put the half eaten bouncy ball in Silas' mouth. So that he can give it to d <laughs> by opening his mouth. It's even better. Okay. And then I'll pocket okay. the top for later when I figure out what her birthday is. And then I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you come out, the tendrils are still there, and Amor does still seem tense. Uh, as for moving the painting, um, you kind of grab it, and you start to pull it, and you realize, oh, this is hinged, and you pull it, and it kind of swings wide. Before you, you see a large wrought iron door with six keyholes. Well... I found a door. My first instinct is to kick it down, but uh, I'll let someone more kick away. Gentle, take a look. <laughs> Has keyholes there, so we ain't going anywhere without them. How many keyholes? Just the one. Six. Six keys. Well yes, then, for some freak with six arms. Milady Amor, I don't suppose you would know where these keys are, do you? I would have told you if I did. Then you'll have to forgive our rude manners. Silas, why don't you help him kick it down? And I'll guidance, uh, if Quint. Because does it seem rusted? No. No, not in the slightest, okay. Hmm. Go ahead and roll athletics fuck if it. you want. Yeah, fuck it. We'll, we give it a try in this household. Hey! <laughs> 28! <laughs> Jesus. Natural 19. You take three psychic damage as you begin to assault the door and suddenly you're overcome with a heavy headache. Oh, God. Did the door budge, though? That's what matters. <laughs> At least dented it with that, yeah? No. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's, it's a magic iron. door. It's a door that gives you're you headaches. You're just a dude. <laughs> it's a door that gives headaches. Oh, God. And I haven't, I mean, Bryce is going to just kind of stay here. He's going to look over at Neve, check the desks in that room, see if you find any keys. If Quint, and I point back at this room, you do the same. Neve will not be on my way. Working through the desks. Okay, Neve, give me an investigation. Mm, okay. You uh, want if Quint's down, he gets guidance. Uh, say that again, Bryce. I said, if Quinn's not very smart, he gets he gets guidance. Okay. Um, <laughs> Neve, roll your... Oh, you got an 18. Uh, if Quinn, what specifically? <laughs> Damn. Uh, he is looking for, A, any, like, loose floorboards, anything that might, like, have a compartment. Yes. Yes. Yeah, like, anything not... Any, like, check for hidden drawers, things like that. Um... He's kind of rolled high enough. So you weren't specific, so it did raise the difficulty, but because you rolled high enough, as you're kind of looking around with Quint, you... At one point, you get a little frustrated, and you just kind of take a seat out of just like, fuck, where is it? And then you feel God. something kind of weird and hard against your ass in the cushioning of this seat. Oh, God! Jesus! <laughs> He'll just get up and look at the chair and See if you can figure out, like, kind of cut the cushion open. As you do, you pull out just tried a, to fuck me. You pull out a small key made of the same material as the door. He's going to keep looking for a second one, but he's going to peek the door open just enough to catch sight of Bryce. And you just hear in your mind, I found one that tried to peg me when I sat in a chair. He's going to keep looking. I have more questions about his sexuality right now than I have since I've met him, but <laughs> I shouldn't have said but. <laughs> uh, Neve, as you you rolled an 18, you investigate the first desk, you find nothing. You move to the second one, and you begin kind of rifling around, and you start opening each of the drawers, and then as you reach the bottom, you kind of just like, that's weird. The top drawer doesn't, isn't quite as deep as it should be. Mm. Kind of sucks. And a sussy baka. Okay. Um, is there a space anywhere there? Oh, actually, hang on. Let me, let me check my spells. I don't have to detect magic, do I? I don't think I do. Oh, I do. Perfect. Um, could I go ahead and use 
No, 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 no. Because if you used to tech magic, you would have noticed there would, wouldn't be some magic in this room before. Um, I'll go ahead and pull up my scimitar, see if I can maybe try to see if there's a way to pry open the bottom of the top drawer. Yeah, and so you kind of slide your blade in. You find there's like an odd little space there, and a little bit of jiggling and wiggling. You kind of, there's a crack as you pull it down. You hear the clattering of a key on the ground. Hmm. Think I found something. As they're doing this, uh, Bryce, I will note Lady Amore begins to kind of float back. So she's flying like, I'd say around 15 feet in the air now. And she points her hand at Eden and kind of drags it over towards you. And you see as the tendrils pull her kind of near the door so she's next to you. I kind of uh, hold on to her so she can't get pulled any further. I'm sorry. Are you all right? Sorry. Um, she looks anxious and a little upset, but she nods very, like, meekly. Uh, give me two seconds. I'll be back in just a moment. While you do that, uh, allow me to make myself a beverage. Well. Oh, yep, I got permission from stream. I can go get a third beer. I'll be back. I'm back. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, you asked if she's okay, and Eden just kind of nods meekly. Anyone? I'm continuing to look. He went to make it. Some they went to give it. Try. I'm just trying to see if I can find another key because it seems like it'll probably be more than just the one. Um, so you're looking... He'll just quickly, like, slash a chair. No, slash the chair. No. Okay, yeah, kind of slashing those, you find jack shit. Yeah, fuck it. Pull out the drawer and they kind of pull it out and see if it's, like... Damn it, nope. Uh, anything in the chamber, anything in the sh in the shitter. Do you stick your hand in? He'll look. He's not going to stick his hand in. There oh, does on. appear to be that some... Works, I bet. There does appear to be some years old waste. Okay. He'll kick the thing and try and do so annoy. Like, if there's anything metallic in there, it'll, it'll hit the wood. There's this really disgusting, like... Sound is like this sludge crawls its way out, and for a second you're like, "Is that alive?" It's not. I have a but drinking you're horn. Concerned for a moment. You have what? Check the roll twenty has, video. I have a drinking horn. He, he has drinking porn. Apparently. Drinking horn. Oh, I don't see where the. I don't. Know. Oh, a drinking horn. Okay, nice. Where did you put this? It's in roll twenty. I'm like, I have my my video streaming. Oh, I. Uh, I did not oh, see you it. You turned on your video. Okay. <laughs> I do not see it, but you I'll trust you. That's video. a nice drink. That is fancy. Thank you. Anyways, um, <laughs> it's very, it looks like it's very inefficient. There is no key in the very board. inefficient, but the aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I can turn on video. You may have to just like refresh. Video only. Uh, anything under the bed? There is nothing under the nope. bed. Nope, not even monsters. Fuck me. Okay. Not even monsters. I do not get to see your drinking horn. I guess. I'll send a photo. Is um? Is there anything in? Oh the wait, shit! Earth? There you are. Hey. Yo, that is inefficient, bro. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Is it's there, very efficient. Is there anything in the hearth over here? Uh, there is not. Supposed to come with a handle, mm -hmm. but it didn't come with anything on these shelves. I suppose <laughs> there is not. I'm gonna I will check. Say that room is clear. <laughs> this room is clean. I'm gonna check the toy chests, see if they have false bottoms. 
There, that's a very good spot to check. There are no false bottoms. You do not find any keys hidden in the toy chest. So those are is there clear. A teddy bear? Is there a teddy bear in either of them? Terry, are you taking a selfie right now? I am taking a selfie right now. There is a teddy bear. Do you wish to destroy it? You can't feel any, like, key lump in it. You can't feel any key lump in it? He won't destroy it, but he'll give it to Clora. Clora okay. will just kind of, like, bite it and then kind of hold it in its mouth. Very classic teddy bear. Yeah, and he'll keep. He'll continue. He'll just come out and say, "I found one key. I have not been able to find another." How about you? How about you? I found one. One of the desks out here. Nothing in the hearth. Nothing. Nothing in the shelves. I'll start walking my way over, over to this. Over to this room. Okay. Let's see. Uh, anywhere specific you're checking, which will lower a DC, or are you? So say, is is yeah. uh, is this? That's a light source. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Just an artifact. Ignore it. Just an artifact. A relic of sorts. All right. Um. No, I mean like a, a picture artifact. <laughs> oh, picture art. Oh, okay. Okay. So, like, so, so uh, basically, it's, it's like a candle torch chandelier. Just ignore it. Okay. What are you looking for? <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Um, let's see. We will check. Um, is there anything behind the bed? Uh, like, behind the, uh, What's that called? The headboard. The headboard of the bed. Anything behind that? There is not. See anything? Oh, obviously not under the bed. Um. Hmm. <laughs> nothing in the pillows. Nothing under the sheets. Well, I, I just, well, um, just make an utter fucking mess of the bed. Basically, <laughs> I just string it out all all across the room. I'm just. I am not. I am not being. You fuck it up. There is no key in the bed, but there is a key in this room. Is there anything? Is it under the rug, perhaps? Roll investigation. All right. I can and I will. I don't mean to trigger you, Ellie, but... uh. I was literally just <laughs> typing it. <laughs> uh, as you're walking over the rug, you feel a hard spot, and you kind of reach down, and you realize it's like two separate sheets t like sewn together, and you kind of tear it apart, and you find a key on the inside. Very nice. Check. I'll check. Found another. You will like pull up the rug under here. There is nothing in the rug. You'll Here's check all. the pillows. Um. Slashing open the pillows. Give me investigation. It's gotta be hidden somewhere where one would have to either know or accidentally stumble upon it. <laughs> you do not find anything in the pillow. Other pillow. <laughs> False floorboards. No false floorboards. Anywhere else you want to look? There is a key in that room. He will jump and land and like l jump and like in midair lay onto this bed. Just kind of see if. if... <laughs> you roll acrobatics for me. Acrobatics or athletics? Either. <laughs> Oh my god, an eight. Oh my god, I gotta turn off guidance. Fuck, I just goes. Oh. I wanna, I want you to know, the lower your roll on this, the better, because the less gracefully you land, you kind of like land on it really heavy, and you hear a loud crack as the frame begins to break, and you hear a clatter under the bed. You kind of crawl down, you look, you see, you broke the supports of the bed. No one can ever use this again. But you also broke the secret compartment. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he'll, if he, if he can, just take his carpenter's tools quickly and just do <sighs> the quickest patch job for this yeah. support. <laughs> it won't work well, but like the next person to use it will think they did it, not you. Exactly. <laughs> that is the goal. That is the goal. <laughs> All right. You have two more to find. I have recommended checking the drapes. As he'll come out and be like, Alright, I found a second one. Don't worry about the noise in there. By the way, Clora found a toy. What kind of toy? No, Clora found... You just see the little dra the little cerulean dragon is on his shoulder with a teddy bear in its mouth. Hmm. I there's, right. believe there's one other washroom for you to check. 
since All you've right. gotten your hands dirty. Bryce, I think they're talking to you. <laughs> One more time on no, that? No, no, I'm talking to the Dragonborn who's got shite on his hands. Oh, I'll oh. cast Prejudigitation to clean his hands. Oh, I don't have- he doesn't have shit on his hands. He kicked the fucking- oh, the toilet and- Shitty feet, shitty feet boy, but you got- <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll cast- uh, I'll cast Prejudigitation to clean him. Oh my god, how much shit do you think came out from a, like, you know, kick, kick, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Alright, what do you, you know? do? <laughs> Perfect, so maybe you can go reach in the toilet then. Yeah, you, you I'm, dad's not reach, I'm not reaching in no fucking you, no, I wasn't talking to you. As you guys are arguing, me. Eden is like, Someone check the fucking bathroom! <laughs> Silence. You see she's, like, still tentacled the against the wall and looks extremely irritated. Fine, I'll go check is the bathroom. Is there water? <laughs> is there water in the tubs? Like, was there water in the tub when I went over there? Uh, there is water in that tub that Bryce is now investigating. Bryce, what do you do? I check the shitter. I have Silas help me. Oh my <laughs> How, god. How, do you stick your hands in the fucker, or are you gentle, or? Yep. <laughs> Alright, it is a, it is a clean toilet. Not as in, like, free of matter, but is and in no key. Before anyone just... figures out what Bryce just did, he just cast a spell and instantly it's all clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just had a worse, like, worsened your day, but that's about all you got. Bathtub? Uh, uh, yeah, roll investigation. Can I, do, like, make sure before I do, like, pull the saw one the thing, plug. like, when he pulls the plug and he loses the key, I check the plug for a key. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, you just, like, do you pull the plug out? No, I'm just like I'm like I'm gonna touch the plug and make sure there's not a key wrapped around it. Fifteen. Um, there is no key floating or at danger of flooding down the drain. Check the faucet. Just like check the water. Um. Dower. You, you don't find it. <laughs> there is running water, but there is no <laughs> key. Um, I will say there is a key in that room. I'll what is the little the tub? Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe push the basin over. As you as you kind of look under the tub, you do see some plumbing that looks oddly large. Hmm. I'm going to uh, pull out. Did you pull out? Like, did you just leave the tub full? Yeah, the tub is still full. Okay. Going to pull my dagger and try to like open the plumbing, like, cut it open. Uh, can you roll a... What would that be? Sleight of hand? I'm cool with that. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so you kind of work your way, and as you open it, you are doused in frigid five-year-old tub water. <sighs> but you do see uh... The bath, like the bath plug, kind of had a extension reaching down into the drain that the key was tied around, and so you just kind of grab it and pull I'll it. I'll grab off. that, and then Bryce is like, let's see, description. Bryce is five foot four, so he'll cast Prejudication six times to completely clean himself. <laughs> <laughs> You're in there for quite a while, and eventually you come out, and they're half like, a minute. You, yeah, you guys aren't any of the wiser. I found a key. How many well, does there's that bring one us more to? study in a bathroom if you want to check. Since the rest of us have found two keys, you got one. One more. Uh, which one? This one or the study up here? The, the study and the bathroom, I think, are considered I one. Here. I will mark off all the rooms that are clear. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say. Um, what's this in this uh, over here? That is a like a. Uh, po pot. It a has. Pot. Did Plants. someone say pot? Oh, yes. Okay. Sick vape, bro. I will check the ficus then. Is there anything hiding in the ficus? You kind of you dig around. You you don't see anything. Are you allowed in there, to no. smoke weed on stream? Uh, I mean, you're not even an affiliate, so I don't think Twitch knows you exist. So. <laughs> true, 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 true. If you've got a cool enough chat, you could. Probably do whatever the fuck you yep, want. So nothing in the leaves, nothing in the soil. Okay, we'll leave that. I'm not under these rugs. That's a good place to check, but there is no key now. 
I'll, I'll go ahead and also use Druidcraft to see if there's a flower that can sprout on the ficus. And give it a nice touch. Yeah, I'll allow that. You have a little flower sprout from it. Oh, very good. I go, let me check something, actually. Yeah, so you summon this flower, but as you watch, within maybe ten seconds, it withers away. Oh. Hmm. Look at you, did you kill that poor plant? Yep. You think it was already dead? Hey, you brought it back to life for a brief moment, made it experience more pain. Alright. Are these stairs, like, fully solid? Is there, like, room underneath yeah, they're, them? Yeah, they're fully solid. They are, yeah. Fish. <laughs> no, no, no. Is there... Is there... I was going to say, check in the undead's bodies, but no. Is there, is there perhaps any loose tiles on the stairways? Uh, no, there are not. Okay. Um, anything under these rugs? Uh, if Clan already checked. I already checked those. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, the, the lady the lady is a ghost, not... Is the ghost ghost. wearing a necklace with a key? I was about to say, but if they're ethereal, then no. What about key. the zombies? A ghost key. The zombies do not have any keys on them. The ghost does not... Well... I'm trying to think. There was a roll done earlier... But if I told you about it, you would instantly know where it is. Uh, you will, I will say, like, Bryce, you look at her expecting to see, like, a necklace or, a necklace or something, but there isn't. Forgive me, where do you keep your jewelry? I kept it in my main room before I had to sell it all. Which one was her main room? This one. One more time. The left, yeah. left room. That one. And we checked everything in there? You did. I checked the painting. Like, is there, like, a key on, like, the lip of the painting or anything? In or, the like... painting, you see that she, Lady Amor, is wearing a, like, kind of twine necklace with a key on the end. Is the key real? As you kind of run your hand over it, you feel there is, like, kind of a, a dent in that spot, yeah. Yeah, I'll cut the painting. Yeah, you cut it open, you wow, hear... Wow, in front of her. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, I was about to say, like, behind Move you, you hear, like, a, a kind of an angry, like, tss, but, like, she doesn't do anything, and you pull out the key. All right, well, I'll put my two keys in Ithquin's hands, and I'll step back. Why does this one smell like shit? It doesn't. It smells perfectly fine. I clean it with magic. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Neve, you, you got two more. I shall hand the keys to him. And he'll just start putting uh, keys in each hole and turn them. To... Alright, as you place each... We'll get Laszlo in here to mend, uh, mend pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> as you place each key in... He likes doing so. Uh, the key, as you turn it, kind of like it's magically pulled into the door and you see integrates and kind of flattens filling the hole entirely to the point you wouldn't even know there was a keyhole there and it's kind of arranged in like this circular like kind of like a pentagram of like five and then one in the center as you put in the last one you turn the key and it doesn't get absorbed but instead the door there's like a, a hiss almost like a vacuum opening and you see kind of a plume of dust emerge from the side of the door as it creaks open very slowly Oh, well, well, we have here. Yeah, we'll open the door and we'll take a look. The tech magic, I'm sure, not being up anymore. Uh, no, it's, it's been too long. Probably um, about two hours. On the inside, you view a very dark... Do you have dark vision, actually? Mm-mm. Yeah, so it is a very near-pitch-dark cave leading down maybe 30 feet. I guess now's the opportune time to chime in. I have dark vision. Yeah, well, I mean, you look in and you see oh. it's a cave leading down. You see kind of an offshoot to the right and 
gonna... it leads into what looks like a larger area. about how, how far in is the offshoot to the right um let me five ten about 35 feet down, there's a little room to the right, and then there's more. Okay, I'm going the to the... place my <laughs> hand on if Quince... You have a shield, right? He does, but I was about to say he put, he's about to pull out his touched long sword, and that gives off like 20 feet total of light. Oh, okay. Cool, 10 cool, feet cool. of bright, 10 feet of dim, or something like that. And then uh, Bryce will cast uh, light on Silas. A purplish light kind of spreads out. From a search. Google, did I say your goddamn name? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I said Silas. I didn't say, hey, Google. Now I said it. It's a good thing you're working yeah, now. Not, yeah, now, you're, now you said it. Now it has a very right to answer. Alexa. Are you... Turn gamer light red. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all ready to head into the room? Yes. Um, I'm going to pull you onto a new map. Bryce is like hovering above my right shoulder. Me... Not Bryce, Silas. Silas. So there's the cave. Let me get your polygon reveal. Does this one have more pixels or less pixels than the last map? This has so many motherfucking pixels, bruh. I'm so hard. Oh, yeah. Let's see all those pixels. And it's just a big black screen. Dude, I'm working the, on it. Come on, show us the pixels. Oh, yes, look at those oh. pixels. Hi, Def. <laughs> My 4K <laughs> monitor. <laughs> I couldn't get... Uh, I could not get the... I feel like I'm small. I was going to say, I couldn't get the grid aligned, so your token shapes are going to be a little funny. Uh, you're going to have to count the tiles. Um, that's probably about how small they are. I really have to just take a day where I show you how Roll20 works, don't I? I no this fucking map would lining line. maps is just a pain. No, no there's literally what. an advanced setting called no, no, a line no, to I grid. No, no, I used it for like it twenty sucks. fucking minutes. It fuck a line to grid sucks. Uh, yes, no, line to grid. We're using roll twenty. We hey. we expect the bare minimum. If you keep making shit. fun of roll twenty, roll twenty won't treat you right. I love you, roll twenty. I fucking hate you, roll twenty. Get roll twenty better. is cool. But I spent like twenty fucking minutes. You trying can to do fix better. Roll bitch. twenty. I'm not mad. Roll twenty. I'm just disappointed. Okay. We, had this, we had the same issue with another campaign. You and Kragmaw hideout. You're in a cave. What do you do? <laughs> oh, hello, no. hello, hello, hello. Do you do that? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you are going in, uh, actually, wait. I'm gonna pull you back out to the Amor Manor real quick. Uh, oh, Lady Amor oh. looks oh, down at pixels you. Pixels again. Oh. <laughs> now it is quite likely the barrier is down there. I doubt you know how to use it, and if you break it, it's just going to re keep the barrier forever, not allowing any of us to leave. So bring it to me. Why don't you follow us? I can't, or I would. What do Could you mean? Can we get an insight check on this? Is this not part of your manner? Uh, can you... What are you inciting, Neve? So I guess, well, are there just any subtle changes in uh, facial expressions? Does she... Well, no, 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 I mean, like, which statement are you inciting? Which statement? That she, can. yeah, that, that, that she can't, or that it might break the barrier forever if we break it, yada, yada, yada. That she, the, the, the specifics on uh, that we need to bring it to her. Well, yeah, roll insight. Can I roll insight on the fact that she can't follow us? Yes, you can. Yeah, because if Quinn said, like, are you sure like, <laughs> this is not part of your manner? So, Ten. Neve, <laughs> um, as she's saying, like, you need to bring it to me. She seems very adamant in that very hard features. But as she's saying, like, it will permanently put the barrier here forever. She does seem unsure. It, she doesn't seem to have much confidence in saying that. Okay. Uh, as for Bryce, uh, yeah, I mean, she seems, you know, she seems like she's not lying, that she wouldn't be able to follow you. If we bring it to you, will you let our friend go first? She kind of looks up. Ah, oh, I forgot all about your friend there. 
You better she go now. Snaps her fingers and the tendrils fade away. And Eden kind of runs down and stands next. Oh, <laughs> stands next to Bryce. <laughs> I kind of like. She uh, has eight health right poor. now. I healed her for nine. Yeah, she was at. Well, actually, yeah, you're totally right. I did a stupid thing. She's at nine. I pull her we all have a moment. One arm <laughs> hug and like push her behind me to where I'm in between her and the ghost. She doesn't fight or anything. She just gets behind you. You see, she does have daggers in hand. Does she look a little injured, or does it look like nine health is enough? She does look injured. She does look like she's kind of, like, panting slightly as if, like, exhausted. Not panting. I'll Fox give her another sword. six. Okay. And then I'm going to... Better. Go ahead. Oh, no, she just looks better. I'm going to begin the process of pulling out a spiritual tail. Uh, two... Uh, Bryce is... Ooh, the renowned duelist. That's a good one. Well, if Quint, whatever we find down there, just know that Adrian is ready to help you again if you need it. Student. All right, we'll right head down to the cave then. Okay. Bryce will Lady take up the... Uh, I think probably... Laszlo's character wants to take up the rear, right, Neve? Yep. You're the most tr traditional ranged fighter. Yes. Okay. Where do you want Eden? I'll put Eden like. We'll go. Oh wow! No, no, no. <laughs> she <laughs> she <laughs> big. <laughs> they grow up so fast. So, using using Overwatch terms, uh, death, ball, death ball comp, death ball comp. She's in the middle of the death ball. <laughs> yeah, we'll go side by side with Bryce and Edith. We'll put uh, Neve in the back and Edith quit up front. How much of the light does your tor does, does a Silas shed? Uh, it's the same as a torch. It's uh, 40 total. 60. It's 2020. 2020, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we go oh, so 20 feet like in one direction. Uh, 40 feet, total. Like, it's 20 bright, 20 like, dim. Wah, okay. Wah. Then I will do a polygon reveal. As if Quint walks in, you see a few things. One, give me a sec to trace out this annoying-ass fucking cave. That's the same as a torch, right? It's 20 and 20. So you see this cave filled with broken boxes and crates, and you can see what used to be old remains of foodstuffs that have since spoiled and, you know, faded to age. And then ahead of you is the fun thing. Hey, it's crates and boxes, and apparently there's a fun thing ahead of us. Ahead of you. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> hold on. Hold on to your horses. <laughs> you see the shadow demon, the one you fought before, as you can see a large kind of hole in its throat. But it seems to be kind of resting upside down like a bat. Its base oh. nestled into the ceiling and it, its eyes are closed. The shadow next to it is like kind of half merged with the wall, seemingly kind of doing the same thing. Is he seeing this shit too? Yes, I am. What do we think? Well, I'm wondering we should just fucking kill him and get over with. I think that's an awful idea after what happened last time. I saved you once, I don't think I can do it again. It's like it's recovering. Maybe in a weak state. Think about it. It's been a whole day. You've recovered. How much has it recovered? It still has a hole in its throat. It's a shadow amorphous body. I don't think laws really apply to it. I agree with Eden on this one. If we can avoid it, let's do our best to try. What does the skeleton look like? Does this thing over here appear to be like a dead end or does it go somewhere? Because I see... Oh no, it's a it's a dead end. Yeah, I didn't really trace it. Okay, let me. Yeah, we don't have much of an option but to go there. So. Yeah. Um, the skeleton is like standing upright, but it's like kind of slouched, like looking straight down at the ground, and it it also seems not incapacitated, but unconscious, asleep. Hmm. The 
Yeah, we'll try to get past him then. Take a step or two forward. Over here is just another dead end, I assume. Yeah. I'm just making sure because I don't. Yeah, want no, no, no. To I, be I know. Like, oh, by the way, I forgot to reveal it, but there was this whole secret path no. that you guys could have taken. I'm not an asshole. <laughs> Anyways, you do see that there is like a a branch there, and there's a more of a cavern behind these guys. All right, so Ithpen's gonna go first. Do they seem to wake up as we get closer? No, they seem asleep. Um, the clo- If you get closer, I will have you roll stealth. If we're all aiming to pass, would you prefer pass without trace, or... I Hear me out here. You, you thought it was a bad idea last time, but last time they also had a jump on us. This time it's more in our favor. They're asleep. I rush in, I can burst blast them with light. If, if, if not you first, it's rather I, I can summon my, fi- my my wildfire spirit first. And then you follow up with it. Do we Ooh. know if like light actually affects the shadows? We didn't try any. It seemed to burn it pretty well last time, didn't it? Even if it, even with the saving throw. The well no um My breath weapon. Yeah, he did radiant it did seem to be a little more effective. Two daggers, and she kind of looks towards you. I will help you if you want to do this, but I think this is a bad idea. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that again. Can I listen for a moment to try and talk about fear of anything else in this game? I think it's just dead silent. Roll perception. You hear ever so slightest of like a a light coming. Not like someone going like, mm, but like, like something like, like, like that. Uh, I don't know. Almost like a, I don't know magical item emitting a sound. You know, imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> coming from the, <laughs> coming from the right path. <laughs> something to do I don't think it'll work there's the matter of sneaking past them but then we have to do that once again coming back we heard the humming oh. coming from the right mm-hmm. Well, we don't I'll know say, what's since you are there. closer, I can reveal a little bit more. Hmm. I will uh, cast guidance on Silas. And I'll kind of toss him forward, and I'll have him go investigate the left. Okay. Um, have Silas roll stealth with advantage. Okay. Let me double check something on guidance. If I can, I think I have to do it before the roll, right? Yes, before the roll. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'm just trying to figure out if I'd rather have him use his guidance on his stealth or his perception. Mm-hmm. I have Stylus with the the stat block of a bat, so he has keen hearing. So that doesn't count for sight, though. <laughs> uh-huh. So I'm going to have him... I'll, uh, if I have advantage, I'm going to use it on his perception, so I'm just going to do the regular roll for his stealth check. Well, no, uh, God he damn. has advantage on... Advantage on... <laughs> oh, no! Does <laughs> this say he has advantage on stealth because he's tiny yeah. and won't, like, interfere? But I have really awful news. <laughs> yeah, is it because I rolled a six? <laughs> As that happens, the skeleton here, you see its eyes flash as they come to life. So this gives it a seductive look. look. Is that a spell or? Nope, just looking at it like, hey, you wouldn't kill me, I'm sexy. <laughs> you know what, roll persuasion. <laughs> okay, well he's got a negative three to his charisma, so. He has advantage because he's a skeleton, so he got a 14. 14. <laughs> um... 
It got a nat one, so like it doesn't even see any of you. It looks up and it locks eyes with Silas. Silas like slowly like le- like flies in for a kiss <laughs> and then attack, like... attack, attack, attack. Yes, attack, attack. <laughs> wait for wait for Bryce. Uh, it, Silas like comes in for a kiss and then like, Bryce is gonna shoot it with his bow. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna have to angle yourself on the board for a shot. Well, actually, technically, since the Shadow Demon is hanging... Okay, then, yeah, you're good, you're good. Um, yeah, could clarify? Go ahead. Yeah, how, how tall is the ceiling? Yeah, just, just so we know. Um, it is a little cramped here. I would say, you know, 11 feet, but because okay. this creature is hanging off of it, you don't have much room to go beneath. Maybe, <laughs> like four feet of clearance. Shoot him in the knee! Um, anyways, yeah, so you take a shot at the skeleton? Yeah. Uh, trying to have Silas take the help action. Do I get advantage or just a flat? I'll allow it. <laughs> just because how fucking funny 18. that was. 18. <laughs> 18, nine piercing damage? Yeah. Shooting There's a the bow. ladder as it falls back onto the ground. Silas, like, flips around, looks at us, nods, and then tries to sneak back in there again. <laughs> We're all stealth again. With advantage because he's so small? Yeah. Oh? 16? Okay. You oh. Get, yeah, so Silas makes it in. On the inside, Silas sees what appears to be maybe an old, like, this is where people used to sleep when they stayed down here. You see a bunch of beds, destroyed, destroyed storage crates and the such. And you do see... One more shadow. This one kind of like oozing out of the ground. Hmm. Silas will. I'll, I'll action dismiss him from this plane of existence and then re summon him next to me so he doesn't have to worry about stealthing back. Very smart. Okay. It's another shadow to our left. It says seem more active than these two do. I recommend if we can to turn our lights off and sneak into the next room and then turn them back on. Eden nods. He nods and he'll sheath the moon touched longsword. You manage that, uh, since I can see. Uh, I, I suppose I'll take the lead with that. I okay. will stop my light and then we'll stealth into the next room. Would we, pref- would we prefer to pass without trace just to be safe? If you can afford it, yes. If you'd rather hold on to your magic, then it's up to you. Personally, I'd rather just nuke these fuckers. But if you'd rather be stealthy, I'll 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 commit resources to being stealthy. Okay. Do you do it? Yeah, sure. I'll pass without trace. Okay. I'm gonna guide I'll get it. Uh, did you turn all of the lights off so it's like completely dark right now? Yes. Okay. Um, Neve, are you going first? Yes, I'm taking the lead. As you start moving, you do see. If Quint seems a little fumbly and like, oh, shit, fuck. But you see, Eden does seem entirely comfortable. Like, she can still see. And, like Bryce easily. is going to look through Silas's eyes to give himself blind sight. Okay. Uh, Neve, can you make your stealth check for me? Damn Skippy. Where? Is at the bottom? There it is. Free! <laughs> uh, you come up and you like kind of get on your hands and knees you crawl and to avoid running into like the kind of bubbles and darkness made from this one you kind of have to like hang on to this right wall mm-hmm. until eventually you kind of come out where the skeleton's body is pretty easily uh, as you're about to go Bryce you see Eden kind of rushes ahead of you and does the same thing much more gracefully much quicker much more easily than Neve did she pops out Quintal, well, I could have clarified and add the plus 10 to that, but... What was that? But, uh, though I should have clarified and add the plus 10 to that, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, who's okay. going next? What, what was that, Bryce? Hold on to my arm, I'll lead us through the darkness. Um, essentially, we'd all I be... I can see through the dark, just not nearly as far. I can tell my surroundings. Oh, you have the He has true out. sight for 10... He has, he has blind sight for 10, 10 feet out, so he can, like, see the walls. can see, like, okay. the biggest bit of the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Well then, fuck my help then, and he'll just take <laughs> off. <laughs> All right, roll stealth. Uh, sixteen. Plus right. ten. Eden. Okay, so uh, Eden like takes you by the hand and like kind of pulls you up to your feet. 
33. Oh, shit. You're if like just, a fucking sn- just, slithery it, it snake. Just, if it could just gets over here. Yeah. Just comes out from the shadows. <laughs> just All like right. slide Eden through. An elf, right? Hey. What was that? Eden's an elf, I'm right? Here. That depends. Right. What is Bryce? Bryce is a human. Yeah, she's an elf. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What is Bryce? Uh, an elf? <laughs> no, she's a human. <laughs> He's saying Bryce doesn't understand the different races. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a she's a she's an elf. Wow. What kind of elf? Uh ambiguous. You can't really tell. Wow. She does Is she it, is she high? Well I was about to say, um you do know like high elves do tend to have like slightly sharper features. Their skin has a, a bit of like a kind of like an oranger tone to it and you can kind of see that on her but it's faint like almost unnoticeable to you hey i have a question completely out of left field to eden oh okay i don't i don't think now's the time to have uh chit chat yeah i know but here hold on i'll cast message (laughs) (laughs) there now they can't hear us he was rolling her eyes and moving. Is this a message proper... you have to whisper? <laughs> yeah, no, definitely whispering. Just like, hey, hey, how old are you? Roll insight. <laughs> she gonna lie to me? <laughs> Just roll insight. Okay. <laughs> Two. I know she's. <laughs> <Not being. laughs> I don't know how old she is, but I know she's clearly lying. <laughs> it's a blatant she, like, lie. Kind of like like pushes on your shoulder. She's like, like two. <laughs> I'm fifteen, dickhead. <laughs> See, there you go. Now we know her age. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you. Sorry. Like I said, out of left field, and then I'll uh, I'll, I'll decide not to give her the spinning toy. <laughs> <laughs> She'll walk down and, like, kind of peek into the room. She'll turn back and look towards Ithquint. There's another one of those shadow things in there. It looks like it's asleep, though. All right, we keep going quietly, then. It's good to be. Uh, she will make her way in. Be careful. She'll kind of, like, get up to here. And then as she gets gets up there you'll she kind of points and you see, see that there's you. like a fence here all right i'll try to sneak in as well okay um i'm not gonna have you roll stealth until you are in the immediate area of it so like you can get to where eden is with no checks or anything since it's dark as fuck in here i'm gonna make like a sneaky beaky owls no problem um, yeah, so she'll kind of, like, point forward. I mean, there's another cave above us, but there's that fence there. One of us can check. It looks like it has a lock on it, maybe? I can't see in the dark very well. <laughs> I can see whatever the hell is ten feet past it. She's mainly talking to Neve at this point. <laughs> I think it's the one that does it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yes, I, I can check it. Neil will check. Guidance. Okay, so you do see it's like a kind of like a metal fence. You can see through and it looks like a small like supply room that seems entirely untouched. Um roll insight for me real quick and then also for the fence it just like looks like a fence and there's like a lock on it hit bog so looking in the room like you see there are like footprints and stuff going through here so like people were in this room but all of the crates look mm-hmm. like entirely undisturbed and you see kind of oddly near these ones there seems to be a lot less dust hmm. Is there a gap at the top of the gate? Yeah. Well, no, if it's like a because like it's like a it's kind of like a barricade thing that we can't open, right? Yeah. But how how tall is the gap up top? 
I'd say about a foot. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. I ain't flying through that shit. Okay. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Neville. You hear like a psst from the dark and you turn you see Eden. Mm-hmm. And she like holds up what you can kind of ascertain is like maybe a lock pick. Okay. Yeah, I'll scoot over. Yeah, worth a try. Worth a try. Is there is there a lock that I can pick? Yeah, there is a lock on there. Do you want me to try it, or are you good with these? Uh, looking at her, looking at Eden's fingers, I I think you'd be a lot better, a lot better at those than I'd be. She nods and she'll kind of crawl her way forward to it. Let me do a check. What is her? That's dexterity, right? Correct. What is her dex? That's, uh... You hear a click and kind of like the sliding of chains. And when you look back up, Eden has gone into this room with the gates gone. Oh. I will owl whoosh into the room with her. All right. It quints, Bryce. I'll also follow. Yep. Why are you so distant? Because I'm not next to my mic. Get next to your mic, then, ass. <laughs> um, yeah. So you all make your way in, and like I said, you see footprints, but it like none of these boxes have been touched. I'm making lunch <laughs> at six in the evening. I mean, yep. I just had breakfast at five, so. Yo. I woke up at noon. Bruh. So what we're seeing that it looks they look like fresh footprints, but nothing opened. I wouldn't say fresh. I would say, you know, like these are like old footsteps, but because the air is so stagnant, they haven't been you know swept away or anything. And then like mm-hmm. I'm not saying there's no dust here. It's just like less than everywhere else. Okay. to check that first, I suppose. I suppose we'll check that first, then. The dust? Yeah, yeah the, the less dusty crates, yes. Right. What do you do with them? Because uh, what, there's what, crate, does, crate does all crates, no barrels, do, just all crates? And then... I mean, there's a couple of barrels, but it, it mainly just seems like a, 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 like a wall of crates, yeah. Okay, Um. is there an easy way to open them, or they look more like something that would need to be pried open. They look pried. Oh, they look pried already, or no, they as in like you would need to pry them <sighs> to be pried. <sighs> I don't like that. Quick question, GM, because I can't remember if it was stated already. Is this just a well down here? Um, I have no fucking idea what that is. Use your imagination. Bro. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure if this was supposed to be something. I'm just no, saying. No, it's, it's it's, yeah, seeing it's next to beds, I would assume it was like, like a makeshift campfire and it has. Oh, you know, it could be uh, the thing going. <laughs> yeah, I, it's I, my a big monster be, eye looking at you. Yeah, my, my, guess <laughs> would be, my guess would be like a campfire that has like a cooking pot on it. Maybe. Uh, but I'm just making sure. Okay, so it's basically just. Go, 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 go. Continue. For all intents and purposes, relatively harmless, yes. Um, I don't think there's going to be a subtle way of opening these. She, Eden just kind of looks around and just like, so what's the plan? There. We're about to make noise regardless of what we do. Um... I don't reckon any of you have anything that could dampen sound by chance. Eden shakes her head. It quint rice. No, I do not have anything that dampens sound. You know, let's just do it quickly. I mean, I hopefully can... won't make a uh, won't make a long noise. I do not as well. Hmm. Okay. Um. 
Probably problematic for the shade outside. Uh. I mean, do you think... This did seem like the most guarded room, but there, there was another cave to the north. I mean, do we want to go investigate that one? Do we want to stay here? Guys, the DM told us to go check another room, so we shouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm not saying check another room. I'm just letting you guys know this room does seem important, but there was another room that could possibly be it. Yeah, I... Uh... Isn't this the sign we heard, though? Wah, 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 wah. It does seem louder here. Louder in this room. Hold on. I wouldn't say it's coming from this room, but, like... I... Let... As, as, as though it is, it, it, heaven forbid, it's coming through the wall here. That is an amazing question, and because you were so specific, that is exactly what it sounds like. Right, right. Um, let's, yeah, let's go check. Let's check that other path. My ears didn't deceive me. Uh, yeah, what we're looking for might be, yeah, is, is over there. Oh, okay. Then yeah, you all no cell checks or anything. You get up here mm -hmm. and let me. Reveal. Pile in, come on. Piling in. Get the fuck out of my space, bro. I'm guarding your body. So here's the room. It seems like another kind of staying area with broken crates and boxes of personal belongings and rusted weapons and no giant stones. Stones. Now that we're here, and an important thing to note that uh, for you, GM. Oh, never mind. I lied. I was about to say, um, I was like, uh, how long has it been since we've been exploring the cave here? Uh, I don't know. 20 minutes? Half an okay, hour? Yeah, we're, we're good. We're fine. Pass without trace lasts an hour. We're good. Oh, okay. Um, I, thought, I thought it was only 10 minutes. So I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> the humming is much quieter here. Oh. Oh. So there's certainly not going to be a there certainly isn't going to be a subtle way to get what we're looking for. <sighs> Unless one of you knows how to meld into stone. Why do we need to melt stone? I believe the stone itself is in one of the walls here. I mean, it needs to be somewhere that Lady Amor could access, and she's not magical, so. She's a fucking ghost. She wasn't always a ghost, my friend. Yeah, that's a pretty recent development, actually. How would you know that? Because I here. lived here. Okay. <laughs> I feel like me. I feel like uh, she looks at me like you. You travel with these guys, and I'm like, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Anyway, so she like it's, it's, ignore that. Ignore that one. She's new. <laughs> we, I mean, if you want to try something loud or magical, we can. But keep mm. in mind, this is somewhere Lady Amor would need to be able to access easily. And that's what I'm trying to say here. Um, wherever it's at, um, it's in one of the crates in the previous room. Uh, we'd have to pry them open. We'd be making a commotion. There might be a secret wall. That would make sense. I said we head back and investigate that room further. Right. Is that the plan? Yes. Yeah, assuming there's nothing of note in here, uh, anything in these crates here? No, those are busted open, just like old personal belongings, faded right. joy paper. Okay. Nothing there. Uh, man bat over here still asleep? Still asleep, yes. Still asleep, all right. I'm, I'm going to get to around here. And okay. I just want to kind of see if I can maybe feel around, maybe find something. Because, like, they said they heard it in, like, the wall. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if there might be something kind of covered up or anything. Um, I mean, roll a investigation check for me. Meanwhile, Neve and Bryce, what are you two doing? I'll study the wall over here this time. Like I said, there are kind of crates covering it, so it's it's hard to see. Uh, from what you can see, it just looks like a wall. Um, it, is is there, is there a is there a faint vibration in the wall if I touch it? A little bit, like you can feel like the presence of something, but it you, you're not sure what. Mm. Okay. Bryce uh, licks his finger, holds it in the air. Does he feel a breeze going in any direction? 
Yeah, he feels a breeze coming towards you, like kind of pushing your way. From this direction or this direction? From this direction. Can um, I look through Silas's eyes and use his blind sight to see if anything stands out? Um, I mean, not really. It's just a bunch of crates pushed up against the wall, kind of making the wall hard Can... to see, but other than that. Yeah. Let's move these crates. Uh, yeah, you kind of get to work. You start grabbing and moving the crates. And as you do, you see on the very bottom, uh, the crates were concealing a hole that is maybe, you know, two foot by two foot, very tight. And you see it's like a, a little tunnel. And looking in, you can see it leads to a lit cavern on the other side. Well, I don't imagine we can fit through that very easily. After you, Silas, and I'll cast Guidance on Silas, and I'll send him down the hole. Yeah, hole go through easily, since he's a very tiny boy. Emerges from the other side, and you see a... And I'm looking through his eyes at this point. Yeah, kind of like a lit cavern. It's filled with, like, long deceased warriors. You can see they're wielding weapons and shields and clothes from, like, thousands of years ago. Um, Prices that have kind of <laughs> As he flits around, uh, he sees two things. One, a... Like, most of these are, like, kind of barbarian, like, light armor, heavy weapons. But as you're going through, you see one... Like, kind of larger person, almost a Goliath. And you see they have, like, a full suit of armor. And in their hands, they have, like, a small kind of... Maybe, like, two fist size sphere that is, like, very dark gray. Like, it looks almost non-magical. How big? But on the... Uh, like, two fist size. Not very large. Um, and then on the other side you see a coffin that seems to be emitting this kind of light out of it kind of emitting this um you know how like the barrier is like constantly changing color mm -hmm. you see like an iridescent light like that emitting from the center of the coffin silas is gonna spit out the the bouncy ball in his mouth <laughs> And he's going to open as wide as he can and try to eat the spear in that Goliath's hand. Um, you know, like a light bulb in a. In it's a... easy to get into the mouth. I understand that it's hard to get out. Oh my <laughs> god! We're gonna have to break <laughs> Silas. We're gonna I'm have to gonna break say Silas's to avoid jaw. killing your pet. Uh, it doesn't fit. Sorry, it's also just too heavy to lift. Yeah. Oh okay. wait, if we vanished him like to the other, like like just pop. Out of, out of existence. That was my plan. Was it just to get him back to me, then I would catch it. <laughs> oh. it. It's too heavy to lift and doesn't fit in his mouth. All right. uh, does Silas see another way for us to get into here? Uh, no. I mean, there are like holes in the roof, but they're very small. It looks like all they're good for is filtering light through. Look, you couldn't fit through any of them. It looks like this cave, that little tunnel ahead of you, is all that could. Work. We can't. We can't squeeze. I mean, it's two by two foot. We could be very. We could be squeezed. It's two feet. This. Wait, it's two feet by two feet. Yeah. Um, up to you, GM. Could Chlora possibly fit in there? Because they are well, small. Like, Eden could fit through. Bryce could fit through. How large is Neve? Neve Chlora is is considered small. Neve is she's close to like what five two. She's, she's oh okay. Neve could fit through. Uh, Chlora could fit through. If Quint, you could. If but there is six a danger through two twenty, he ain't he gonna get stuck. What was that? He's six three. He's gonna get stuck. <laughs> you can make the attempt and like. That. I wouldn't kill you with this, but like you would lose <laughs> health getting stuck and unstuck. Oh God. It'd also likely make a convulsion. You, you stay out here, big guy. I'll keep watch. Um, you know, while we're up here, give me one second. Uh, can I find something that Silas could theoretically knock over? Just to make some noise? Let me look back at your map. Um, I mean, I... 
Silas, like in the room with the the coffin, or yeah. in your um? Oh, uh, <laughs> why would we make noise in our room? There's like a sword, like kind of resting against the wall. You could knock over. Yeah, Silas picks it up with his mouth, flies up to the roof, and drops it. It clatters. Any of these undead things move? Rule perception. For uh, Silas. I'm going to add guidance to this as well. That's a wisdom check, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, he has advantage on sites that rely on hearing, too. If anything makes a noise, let me know. Uh, it's it's not hearing. It's just, just sight. Plus a d4. So 10. <laughs> but then doesn't see anything move. Okay. <laughs> I will recall Silas to me. I think okay. we're good to go. If Quint, you go first, because you're going to be the most difficult to get through this. Or how 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 deep how how? Far? You want me to go first, or I'm going to stay out here and watch? How, I've got how, two conflicting opinions right no, now. No, I want you to go how, first. I'd how, rather not get stuck. How long? Well, if you time? get stuck, then at least that's the first thing that happened, not the last thing that happened. It's how, ten feet. How long is? Oh, ten feet. Yeah. Oh, I could do that. I can handle that just fine. Yeah, this is just some really tight spelunking. All right, uh, let me do it, because in the event something happens, I can get out in a flash. Okay. Uh, Neve, can you roll a acrobatics for me? I can. Oh, acrobatics, I'm fucked. <laughs> Fuck boys and girls. You make it through pretty comfortably. Nice. Uh, who's next? Silas will help you, my friend. You go next. All right, fine. So with guidance... Guidance. Acrobatics. Oh, thank God. You, it's tough, but you squeeze your way through. Uh, Bryce, well, for me? Followed by Chloro with their teddy bears. Right. Mm -hmm. Did he provide the chat? with more girth going through? Uh, what did Bryce get? 16? And then, let me roll for Eden. Alright, you all get through without taking any damage. Once you emerge on the other side... Is that so bad? Nice. Um, pull your things onto the board. It's the same as earlier. So over here. Oh, big! Uh, you're in this corner down here. Right. Um, I will say, as she gets in there, uh, Eden will kind of walk up to... What's her name? Chala? Oh, Clora. 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 Uh, uh, she'll kind of walk up to Clora and then she'll like hold her hand out for the teddy bear. It thinks it looks around and then release. And Eden will like take it and then you watch as she takes like some twine out of like her sack. Oh, I got you a toy she... as well. <laughs> <laughs> she give her the, uh... the, the top. <laughs> Wait, do you do? Yeah. She just kind of looks at it. Wow. Um, thank Are you more you. of a teddy bear, teddy bear kind of girl? I, I didn't. I didn't strike you as that. But if that's what you wanted, no. I should have grabbed that first. No, I'm. I'm. She like holds up the toy and, and she's like, I'm. I'm making a harness. He, you just hear in your head. Oh. It, you just hear in your head, Bryce. She's not your sister. <laughs> Chill. She's, she's been through she... a lot. I just wanted. Her, I just wanted her to feel I... more at home. You know. So she like, like you, makes you a do that by like I imagine you just say that out loud. <laughs> so she like makes a harness and like ties the the teddy bear to the back. Of She's so handy. I'm so back. proud of her. Just so like nice. the dragon can move around and not damage okay. the teddy bear. Nice. See, she did care about the teddy bear. <laughs> so proud of her. She's such a good boy. Oh my god. <laughs> so like I said earlier, here's the body and then here's the coffin with the light coming out of it. Okay. Wow. You said the body and the light coming out of it's all over here. No. The body is here. Oh, it's the body on the screen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then here's the coffin. I just don't have anything for the Okay, we want to check out the coffin to the body. Coffin. I can actually see the coffin, which is nice. Light in the 
distance. So you're gonna uh, does the spear in the body's hand look anything like the the heart of the world that I keep in my bag? No. Okay. It. This is like just a large gray stone. It gives me a bad feeling. So with the body and the corpse, uh, is it still dark in between here? Can they see these corpses here? Yeah, like, it is lit in this room. Okay. Like, y'all can see. A fucking okay. litty, bro. <laughs> um, I, I... I don't trust that that body is there with that thing. Should we grab the spear? The body has the spear, you said? Yes. It can't hurt. Perhaps the spear first, then whatever the body's got. Uh, Bryce will try to sneak over there and disarm that body. I do want to make sure. I'm saying sphere. I not know. Spear. I, I heard sphere. Oh. Yeah. Okay. oh. I um, heard a sphere, but I thought there's also now a weapon. So you want to? That's why Silas tried to eat it. I'd, I'd say investigate. The yeah, that was the sphere. So can I have one person talk, please? <laughs> yes, I would like to investigate the body and try to take the sphere. Okay, yeah, as you walk up, um, the body... it As you kind of look, you see it hasn't really decayed, and you see it has similar features to um, Lady Amor upstairs. Uh, taking the sphere, though. You take it. It's took. I see. Nice. It. Well, bring it on. Like the the undead, like the dead remains of possibly Lady Amor. Oh no, it's it's not Lady Amor. This is like a great great ancestor. Oh okay. I'm like, well, may you walk oh, yes. safely under the light of Lavender. Mm -hmm. And I'll make my way back to the group. Right. And then there is the coffin emitting this iridescent light. The light seems to be, like, going up through the cracks in the roof into the outside world. Oh. Well, why don't you two go check it out? And by you two, uh, she's pointing to Eden and Ethquint. Um, sure. Why not? It's Children. getting up and up of a light. I can actually see it. Mm, oh yeah, this this whole area is lit. Like I, don't, I think I've oh, said that shit, a couple times lit? already. Yo, oh, oh, uh, uh, if, if, oh, if Bryce is trying, if Bryce <laughs> tries moving ahead, like uh, 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 knee will grab him by the shoulder real quick to to hold him back. It's like, and whisper him. It's like the girl seems off. No. Eden. Hey. Is it rather odd for an elf not to be able to see in the dark? She can see, she in, can the see in the dark. Oh, she can? <laughs> she can? Yeah. Well, she couldn't! What? <laughs> no, I can't see in the dark. Okay, you're... you're you, oh, no, she, she's not... She doesn't... She, she's not have the elven features. That's that's not an elf. I'd know. Fucking racist. Hey, I'm a human. I, am a I should know. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> you would just you're be not... a half-elf, you fucking racist. Oh, wow. Jesus. Just because you're a ladron, you think you're more elf than other elves. Is that what it is? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Some elves are more equal than others. I hail from the fucking Feywild itself, and you can go back yourself. Oh, you're Scottish <laughs> now, are you? He's in the accent for a bit. What the hell are you doing back there? Quiet, we're trying to check a car. We're arguing about whether or not Eden is actually an elf. Why not? Why are you Wait, do you say that loudly? Yes. No, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> say it with the quiet part out loud. <laughs> Bryce believes she's an elf, so he wouldn't be offensive when he says she that. She looks more like a half. She'd probably a half elf. The room just goes that. silent as she just kind of like looks back at you all, and Jesus. she seems like tight lipped and like she seems a little like, wow, I, I, you're an elf. <laughs> she had less hair. Be looking for I, I think. I think maybe a, maybe a high elf. Some of She's going to ask what it matters at this point. We can't just settle it over a campfire and some beans. She'll kind of like start walking back. Like, does it 
matter? No, it doesn't. He just doesn't think you're an elf, and I think that that you are. She. An elf. <laughs> she. My bad. It's. Hey, I'm used to Laszlo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I don't see why it's such a big issue to know if I am or am not. So are you? Does that change anything? It may or may not. Can you answer the question truthfully? I think, I think the only thing it would change is that if someone was talking to me about you and they were like, hey, what race is she? That, that would probably change my answer. But that'd be about it. Do you think I have fucking jaundice and like, I'll like show my hands that are like gold? You know, my hands are fucking yellow, bro. <laughs> this guy's just, he's, he, he's a superior. He thinks she. he's a superior. She thinks she's a superior elf. We're fine. We could drop this. <laughs> I'm a half elf. My mother was human. Father was high. You say get high. Could I get an insight check on that? Yeah. I'm oh, just gonna yeah. trust her with that because it's not like any of it fucking matters to. Her. That's cool. Yeah. You. Yeah. Perfect. Hey. Perfect. Meanwhile, if, Qu if Quinn's oh, not uh, racist, he you can't. Humans. <laughs> you can't really tell anything. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, my All mother right. was also a human. All right. Like, all right. All right. Fair God, enough. She'll it. just kind of like start walking nice back. Yeah, Quint, yeah. Have you touched the um, coffin at all? Okay, he's opened the coffin by this point. Just like, what the fuck are they doing? As you like, so like the they're over here. Like, let me adjust them so like where they're talking. So they're like here, and Eden's like kind of confronting them, and you're just like, oh, who fucking cares? <laughs> and, like, you down to the coffin, you try to pull it open, and it's like, shit, this is locked, and you start to turn away to like talk to them and then you notice your hands are stuck oh no like they can't move off of the coffin or they can't move from where they're at can't move from where they're at okay which one of you, which one of you fuckers thought it'd be funny to glue the cough put glue on the coffin glue on that what none of us <laughs> uh, I look why at the, the coffin hell is this like coffin sticky changed. As Itquin is looking away, the coffin seems to be opening ever so slightly. Um, oh my god, it's a mimic and he's gonna... St <laughs> you are going to get attacked because you fell for the trick and then we're gonna go into initiative, baby! Oh Good no! Old. This is the first mimic I've ever properly fucked someone with. Good old and sticky mimic. going mimics. to be wary of everything. <laughs> Let's hope you get a crystal halberd out of this, bud. <laughs> uh, all right, so that is a 17 plus 5. Uh, that's 22. I'm going to use a Gift of the Metallic Dragon. Do you roll? 50-50 shot. Fuck me! <laughs> I right. never roll. Oh, my God. Anyway. You are going to take... Oh, this is very light damage, I will note. Um, mm -hmm. That is... You're Very going to take damage, six boy. bludgeoning damage as like a, a large tongue-like appendage erupts out of the front of this uh, coffin and kind of like hits you in the chest. And you're just like, <clears throat> as you're like knocked out of breath. And we're going to go into... Uh, I don't know why, but it's token vanish for me when I changed the health. I was like, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> um, is, it, is it back? Yeah, it's back. It's, okay. I put a new one down and it was just like, oh, wait, here I am. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to go into initiative. Let me pull up. Since I'm probably last, I'm going to be right back. <laughs> oh, God. All right, here it is. Bury your rest. Um, all right, with that, the Mimic is then going to make another turn now that we're in initiative. That was like a surprise. Blum, 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 blum. Um, it is going to... Um... What does it take for it to change back into like a an, an action? They do acid damage too, don't they? When they hit, uh, only in their normal form, not in their uh, pseudopod form. If I'm reading this correctly, are you sure about that? I mean, if you'd like me to refer to the monster manual, I have it handy. 
I mean, I'm looking at it. It's did it bite him? Or did it hit him with a super I was being a sadistic little shit as a DM with mimics. Um, was like everything inside and outside is adhesive. It's if they are eating them, act if they're actively eating them, they are uh, applying acid damage. Uh, then f- fuck it. I'll roll an extra D8 damage for acid. Fuck I mean, it. if it already <laughs> grappled him, there's no reason it wouldn't have bit him. You know? Yeah. Well, actually, it just grappled him, so it's going to bite it now and then, too. Okay, okay. so we're going to go into that. Well, technically, um, as soon as he touched it, it grappled him. Yep, pretty much, yeah. Just let me make my own decision. Okay, I'm sorry! I want to okay. see if Quinn suffered. Uh, is the acid damage, does it have any additives, or is it just... No, just a D8. Okay, so 2D8 plus 3. So that... Ooh. Uh, when Josh gets back, he's going to come back to... A solid 13 damage. I ran an encounter recently with 13 mimics. That's fucking <laughs> awful. Go fuck yourself. And every time you attack a mimic, you you get grappled by a mimic. <laughs> and then, wasn't there that like there, there is like an old uh, pre-written encounter that they had for something where it was like an entire town of greater mimics disguised as houses? Oh, that'd be terrible. I'm like, I'm a big fan of like the like the town that every civilian as a polymorph dragon <laughs> <laughs> or or you know everyone expects yeah, see, maybe three containers but they can be any object so you can just knows what i'm talking about they got their ass kicked can, by a, oh here's, by a, a, lich here's a, a bunch of mimics chest with, with with a bunch of weapons on display but all the weapons on display are mimics it just <laughs> uh josh are you back fucker or or, or 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 one of my favorites is there there is a sign on a wall that was you know, warning mimic. The sign was the mimic. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll just wait for Josh while he's doing that. I'm gonna make myself another beverage. I shall return. Okay, uh, Bryce, you are next. Just so you know. Uh, yeah. In that case, I'm going to. Have Silas fly over and give me the help action, and I'm going to shoot it with my bow. Or actually, no, I'm going to... I'm not going to do that. I am going to have it take the help action to help whoever attacks it next, but then I'm going to do Vicious Mockery. So go ahead and make a Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, I do not know a Mimic's Wisdom plus one. It's a DC 16. You got a 10? Okay. Uh, so it takes five psychic damage. It has disadvantage on its next turn. I just kind of look over and go, Ugh, you're made mostly of teeth and you choose not to brush them? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, five psychic damage. Silas gives the help action to whoever wants to attack this thing next. And um, it takes five psychic damage. It has disadvantage on its next attack. That'll be Silas. Is yeah, it, I'm back. What have I missed? Just you a minute. Took, you want me to swap uh, to combat music, or? Uh, yeah, swap to combat. You took um, thirteen damage. Five of it was bludgeoning. Eight was acid. And was this an attack? It was a bite, and it was a eighteen plus five. Oh fuck yeah! I wouldn't have. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I will then. Bonus action, healing word. How much damage did he take? Eight. 18. I'm down. Wait, I'm down to. I'm down to 51 13. out of 7. I, took, after, after everything I've taken throughout the session, I'm at 51 out of 73. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up behind him and I'm gonna put a hand on his shoulder. I'll be like, "Well, we all get tricked by mimics at one point or another." <laughs> I'm gonna give him 11 healing. You no, I can't. I can't do that. Uh, take that. Take that 11 back. I have to do bonus action healing, so I'm not gonna get close to you. Uh, healing word for nine. Okay. Nine. Okay, nice. Um, flip us over to that combat music, baby. Ooh, working on it. Baby. And then, all right, so now that you have done your turn, we're going to go into the next creature's turn. As you watch, one of the undead bodies behind arises with a bow in hand. Uh, they are right next to Neve. Uh, they're gonna take... Oh! Five yeah, steps step back. You get a attack of opportunity if you want. Freaky! Actually, wait, actually, let me check if they have any... Physical... Um, they're not gonna sword? do that. They're gonna stay with you. They do have a short sword, and they're gonna make a strike on you. Uh-huh. 
That is going to be a 17 plus 4. Me? Oh, yeah, yeah. That hits all right. <laughs> <laughs> that hits all right. So you're going to take three piercing damage as it just kind of lunges forward with its short sword into, like, your upper thigh. Take it. All right. Now that we have that, it quints. It is your turn with enemy on deck. Am I able to pull my hands free to fight? You can make an attempt. It will have disadvantage. What do I? What would I do slash roll? Like, um, is it, I, like, do I know if it's a strength save, athletics? It doesn't love. specify. Does it, it take just an says, action? So it's uh, an escape check. So it's a whole action. You can do the athletics or the acrobatics. Oh, fuck me. It's um, a grapple. It's the same thing as a grapple rule. Okay. Then he's going to fly into a rage. Oh, you stupid fucking piece of shit. <laughs> You should have stayed as wood. And <laughs> go into a rage and with advantage at the 25, I don't know Jesus. why. Jesus! I shouldn't have had that athletic. I shouldn't have had the guy in zombie at 25 as you just like, what? His hands free. All right, you are free, my friend. And that is my turn. That's really all I can do. And Clora is taking the dodge action on his shoulder because I had to use a bonus action and an action to attempt that with a rage. But this one's probably going to hit me next turn. Well, with that, another of the skeletons rises. This one is going, I'm gonna roll to see which one it will attack. Oh, I um, have healing. All right, it is going to make a stab at Eden. It got a 15, that is going to hit. That is a d6 plus two. Eden is going to take three piercing damage, bringing her down to 12 health. And that's a child. Stop oh, hitting children! The child! Neve, what do you do? Alright, I will go ahead and give, give me one check to clarify what... You have advantage on the mimic if you choose to attack it. But you have disadvantage on ranged attacks because you're within melee of a monster. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. Um, I'll go ahead and... I will go ahead and... With my action, I summon my wildfire spirit right here, making an AOE Nova. When? This boy right here, right here. So homeboy here got 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 to roll me a deck save. Ah! <laughs> Real big. Uh, let me check the scout stat block. Dex is plus two. Got a sixteen plus two. Well, frig. He... I am horrified because, like, these are the easy fights, and I'm rolling really well. Mm -hmm. Hard fights come, I'm gonna roll like shit. <laughs> yes, okay, so he managed to dodge that Nova, but then for the bonus action, I'll have my spirit move to me right here. Bonus action to teleport me 15 feet away to make another Nova next to him, so he can roll me another deck save. Frick that guy. A 14 plus 2. Okay, that. Oh, oh, I need to beat it again. God damn it. <laughs> okay, right, cool. Let's... At least we're over here. We're just like, oh, and then spirits right here next to me. Okay. So we're just um, like, oh, bitch. Perfect. Is that your turn? Uh, yep, I am my turn. Let me check mimic. It's allowed to bite even if not grappled, right? I believe so, yeah. Pretty sure, yeah. It just okay. might, might get like advantage or something. Either that, it could, it could also do like, like little, it can do like little tentacle arms and smack him too if he wants. It's just gonna bite for that extra damage. It, that 20. Jesus. Wait, did, 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 uh, I see you did a vicious mockery. Was that at it? Oh shit, you're totally right. All right. If I get another nat 20, I'm gonna piss my pants. Like, I'll stream it. Like, I will take a video of me pissing my pants. Big rip. I can sell, I can sell that. Right? All right, 12 plus, let me check the mimic stats. Pew, 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 pew. The plus eight. 12 plus five. So that's nope. gonna be, okay. All right, that is a miss. The mimic about? misses for its turn. Is there anything else that it does for its it, turn? No. It, hears the, it, it hears the words ring out. Uh, Bryce, it's gonna be your turn. Give me two seconds. I'll be back in like half a second. Thank you so much for purchase, Doctor. All right, I'm gonna give an action. Uh, I look over towards uh, Ithquint, who is fighting the mimic. I the well. I still have your tail, don't I? Uh, I haven't actually given you the tail yet. I just started the tail, oh, so I'm okay. gonna give it to you now. 
Uh, I'm gonna look over my shoulder to the elf behind me. Adrian, help Ithquint. And the elven spirit appears next to you. So, it appears as though you're ready for your sparring lessons once again, are we, Ithquint? Uh, and then he's going to take a... A do 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 What do I have for bonus actions? Nothing. I guess I could, um... So I'm going to action give you my tail. I'm going to... Look at... You're di I'm going to have Silas give the help action on the Mimic again. So you have advantage on the attack, and if you hit, you get the extra damage. And then oh I'm going God. to hold my ground there. That's my turn. We're collectively being like, fuck this Mimic. <laughs> okay, that's your well, turn. Well, as soon as you can kill the Mimic, you can come help us kill the Skeleton, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't do any damage on a bonus action, so I'm good to go. Eden is going to make an attack with advantage and get sneak attack... Ooh, hype. A, oh. Oh, that's cocked. One sec. <laughs> uh, seven plus four, and it's AC is 13. Eden misses. Damn, what a man that shit. Oof. All right. Good luck, girl. Uh, the scout is going to, I'm going to do a quick roll, see who the scout's going to attack. Let's say which Me? one? The, the one, the one that we're just... Or <laughs> Eden, no! Half cover? <laughs> why would it have half why would she have half cover? I'm blocking her body. No. <laughs> wait, which scout? This guy? Protect the children. No, uh this one. Oh okay. Oh wait, sense. shit, you're totally right. I'm dumb as a fuck. Um it's <laughs> going to come here actually. If it's making a ranged attack, okay, that damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let me check its bow damage as it. You guys have him. one job: protect the child. It's still We're <laughs> you are horrible at it. We no, don't have we don't have aggro abilities. Okay. Still has <laughs> nine damage and is nearly unconscious. Rules as written, oh it's, she still has half cover. <laughs> it got a sixteen plus four. That's fine. <laughs> okay, uh, with that, we're gonna go to Ithquint with Scout Two. Oh my god, can you protect the child? And bonus action, uh, or like, he's gonna command Chloris to like run around here and use a bonus action to attack, and he's going to- Do you want, you want to, to attack strike. first, or do you want to, to, so the first person to attack, it gets the, the help action. Well, we're, we're, we're flanking, so that's just to make sure that Chloris will get the advantage. It's one's gonna take the help action, okay. and it's gonna use its reaction to you add the 1d6 of- uh, lightning damage if this hits with advantage. <laughs> uh, I do not believe that hits. Wait, that does hit. That totally hits. Oh my god. Well then, uh, that is 14 then plus whatever your damage. tail. Yeah, I need to roll my damage. Um, magical. What is it? Tails from beyond, uh, equal to two rolls of my spirit die plus my charisma modifier, so plus uh, 20 damage. Oh, wow, we're at 29, 37 total between piercing oh. and lightning. Pretty sure that was okay, almost that... max on every roll. <laughs> you lost yeah. it, like, part of the wood topping of it blasts apart, revealing a, like, disgusting, fleshy inside. <laughs> that wasn't Jeez. that bad, Ithquint. You are learning the way of the elvish duelist. And then the spirit will disappear. <laughs> All right. Anything else for your turn, Quint? <laughs> He'll just move. He'll just take a step to the side to get a little closer to be able to help fucking uh, Eden, and just say, <laughs> "Get, get over here, Eden. I'll protect you while they can't." Okay. <laughs> Is that your turn? That's gonna be my turn. I'm gonna roll to see who this scout attacks. If it's Eden, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> We're trying. And I'm gonna okay. be right back because I gotta go check for my grave. No problem. Uh, Bryce, uh, five plus no. something. You're you're fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Neve, it's your turn. Neve. Neve, yeah. Coggers. Okay. Bonus action. Uh, elemental will move here. And for all willing. 
we can yeet or skeeter 15 feet over in this direction. And then for my primary action, I will ready, because it's the, the, the elemental takes its turn after mine, so it's after he does all that shenanigans for my primary action, I will produce flame and yeet it at this dude right here. Um, so, you wait. still have disadvantage on that. Will I? You have an enemy within your melee range. But, no, no, I'm saying it's after we teleport. Oh, you can teleport? Away. So, okay, I mean, let if me... I gotta, if I gotta produce flame, this asshole will do that, too. That's fine. Well, no, let me... Still mm -hmm. Let me talk to yes, see yes. if I know what you're doing. Uh -huh. You said your fire element is teleporting all four of you over no, here? No, just, just three. Um, Bryce, Eden, and Neve. And itself. And itself producing a Nova in a five foot radius, which will hit this dude, move us 15 feet away, and then I would produce flame. If I can't hit this guy, I'll hit this guy. That's fine. So like right here? Yep, everyone just three spaces over, yep. How, can you send me that ability? I can do that, yes. Here is just the stat block in general, Chief. There you go. Okay. Uh, all right, so this guy needs to do a wizard deck save. A, yep, deck save. Yep, yep. Yeah, action spirally teleportation. Two plus two. Two plus two. Oh, that hits all right. Okay, we got. Oh, slash or not R slash. Four. Ooh, nice. Six fire damage. Perfect. Holy fuck! Ah, what? Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> and then you're throwing the fireball at it? Uh, assuming this guy's in the way so I can't hit this guy, I'll just throw it at this guy then. Okay, go ahead. Alright. Uh, no, yeah, th th those don't hit at all. No, no, we're good. Okay. Uh, that's your turn? Yep, I end my turn. All right, the mimic is going to go hemp. Let me look this stat block really quick. Fire, fire teleport. Uh, yep, each creature within five feet of your choice. Is this official or is this? Yes, this is an official. That is the official, yes. If it had said UA, it'd be on Earth Arcana. Huh. Wildfire Druid is canon. Would you like me to go grab my copy of no, Pop you're, and you're fine. Thing and take a picture? <laughs> no, you're fine. All right, the mimic is going to make a bite on. Uh, fuck is her name? Col cholera. Chlora. <laughs> cholera. Chlora. Like chloroform. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, is Josh back yet? That's a no. I don't know what Chlora's AC is. I wouldn't know either. Just go ahead and roll, and I'll let you know. Because that's is. still EUA, so I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I'll take this wonderful opportunity to go use the bathroom. Uh, 17. Uh, that probably hits. I'm pretty sure that hits. We'll just say it hits. The AC is... I don't, I don't think y'all get to decide whether it hits or not. I the think that's a my job. The AC is 14 plus proficiency bonus, so that hits. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Have you guys managed to protect Eden? Even... Uh, uh, it the mimic bit your dragon. Sorry. Uh, how much damage? I'm finding that out now. Uh, uh if we, seven bludgeoning, five acid. Okay. Uh, and then Bryce, it's your turn. Um, I'm gonna look over to. Look over at Eden real quick. Now, by the light of Lathander, let me become a vessel for his divine radiance, that I may do his holy work for him as usual, and I will uh, cure wounds on Eden. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Ramen. Uh, Ramen. Healing. And then I'm going to bonus action, pull out another option for a tail. Four... Uh, Bryce begins weaving the tale of Samuel, the runaway. Okay. Anything else? Um, Bryce is also going to step 
down five feet to put himself in between the skeletons and Eden. Be like, hey, I'm right here. <laughs> Leave the child alone. Have some class. All right, anything else? Uh, I'll hold up the, spe- the sphere I stole from the dead person up there, and then I'll end my turn. Okay. Uh, Eden is going to go 510 here. Uh, Silas is also going to give the help action for the mimic. Okay. Um, she is going to have advantage. Let me find another d20. Alright, she got a hit, and then that is, I believe, let me check her damage real quick. Alright, she's going to deal six damage to the mimic as she kind of runs up and like slashes across one of its tentacles. And then she's going to bonus action, disengage, 5, 10, 15. We're going to go into scout one. They're going to go 5, 10, 15. They're going to shoot Bryce. Don't you. With a 19 plus something. <laughs> I assume it hits. Uh, uh, I, fu- oh, I, cast, I cast shield and gift of the metallic dragon at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, live. Go, poggers. You're going to do take seven piercing damage. Alright, uh, Bryce is going to take that damage. Alright, with that, we're now going to move into Ithquince. It is your turn. What do you do? Okay, so I don't have the help action for this thing, so I think he's just going to come over here and flank. Uh, and just go up on this motherfucker. With Clara using its reaction for the 1d6 extra damage, and yeah! 24 to hit for 13. Clora will... He'll use his bonus action to command it to bite. How do you want to do this? Uh, in just tandem, him and Clora just... He just stabs into it. And at this point, instead of, like, just breathing the fire or breathing the lightning onto it, it Clora just jumps up, bites the blade, and just channels the lightning right down into it like a lightning. The just, beast falls. He's a shit touching my... <laughs> Clara will like little, like spit out a thing of lightning and like just kind of rush over to him and rush up to his shoulder uh, and he's going to come over here to kind of pro- help with a barrier between anything and Eden <laughs> that'll be his turn protect the child alright um, with that we're going to go into S2 who's going to stab Bryce Ouch. with a 13 plus... 13 plus 2? Uh, 13, 15 hits perfectly. Okay. What is their damage on that? D6. You're going to take 7 piercing damage. Gotcha. And then we're going to move into Neve. Okay. Um, I will go ahead for primary action, produce flame, yeeter skeeter at that guy. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I, I do not hit those at all. Yeah, so you miss. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, for bonus action, elemental spr- uh, uh, wildfire spirit will ring around the rosy Bryce to this spot. No, 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 no. Pardon. Ring around the rosy. Right here. I like that spot better. Bonus action, fiery teleportation to yeet him 15 feet over in this direction. Uh, two of them? Yep, so make yep, so making another Nova on this this guy makes a deck save. Uh is Bryce willing to teleport, by the way? Is he willing? Yeah, is uh, he will he is willing? He's very confused. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 17 plus 2 on the decks. Son of a... Oh, what that, the... Yeah, that'll hit. Yeah, that'll I, hit. I, hit my turn. <sighs> I feel really bad. <laughs> the mimic was supposed to be, like, this big, scary thing, and the scouts were just meant to supplement it. Why are these two scouts trained by, like, Shredder from Ninja the, the, Turtles? The, 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 the two scouts that keep, that keep, like, succeeding on every 16 DC on a deck save. But God <laughs> damn... <laughs> On a plus two, mind you. I'm like, oh, fuck. Okay, these guys ain't fucking around. So the mimic is dead. Bryce, it's your turn. 
Thank you. Um, I look over to the, the fire elemental. <laughs> um, and they will not embrace. Um, I'm going to... Go ahead and make a wisdom save on the closest scout to me. So this guy. Okay. Uh, I think that is a negative wisdom, if I remember. Uh, no, it's a plus one. I sure hope so. If this, if this plus two... <laughs> up, being 17 plus one! <laughs> He's too. He's his ego is too strong. I can't make fun of him. <laughs> if, if, if is Lazlo that your were, turn? If, yeah. If Laszlo were here, he'd be having PTSD flashbacks on that horse. Okay, give me. <laughs> All right. Uh. So fuck. All right. It's Eden runs here. Oh Eden, no. <laughs> Eden no. Uh, advantage with okay, advantage okay. with Silas. Stay close uh, to me. Yeah, she has it. Uh, wait, Silas is there? Yeah, Silas is giving her advantage. Okay, so she gets sneak attack then. Um, yeah. She got an 18. Uh, I'll roll see if she gets a crit. No, she got a nat 1. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, her damage is 4, 8 plus... Two, 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 two. 8 plus 2. Alright, 10 damage. Alright, having been the only person to have actually done anything so far, Eden runs up and then, like, jams wow. the knife, okay. like, between the the jawbone and the spine, and then there's, like, this loud crack as she wrenches the two apart, killing it. And that then she's works. gonna back here. Alright, we're gonna go into hit Quint's turn. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's going to rush over here, bonus action, commanding Clora to, like, split from him about halfway and, like, run to the other side. Just fucking double-team this fucker. Okay. Uh, well, fuck, 17 to hit for 19 damage okay. with Clora. Oh, how do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, Jesus Christ, me and Eden are adventuring with children. And he's just going to bring the sword down hard from the top of the skeleton. And just there's just a bolt of lightning from the from Clora that just rides the blade. Just and you, bursts upon impact. The skeleton is destroyed. And as you say that, and like Ugh. the skeleton falls, Eden points her dagger at you. I'll have you know, I killed one of them. I said you and me are traveling with children. Hey, I'll I'll have you oh, know. I yeah. did a... Okay. I, I yeah, summoned them. our... As Clara runs... Uh, uh, as Clara run, runs... <laughs> on her shoulder. Excuse me. How am I Bless you, whoever I mean, the hell that was. Wow. I was, I was helping. I, I, I kept you healed. I healed her. <laughs> I helped you kill the mimic. <laughs> you did oh, good with I that, but holy crap, it. look I, at her. I didn't do anything there, did I? Um, I, I'll I, mosey yeah. on up uh, behind the mimic here. Um, so the light source coming from up here. Um, is it is it an <laughs> is it an you. adequate crawl space? That, no, no, it's just, no. It's just like slight holes showing light from she, um, outside. Uh, ten that? healing on Eden if she is she because okay, she okay. still looks hurt, right? Yeah, you got her to full health. Yeah. Is there anything in the mimic? He uses his free uh, just guts. Dragon. Okay. Just gods. How are you You're feeling, good. Bryce? I'm, Keep it up. I think I'm okay. Do you need any healing? If you have it to spare, I take it for sure. Hi. I'll walk up to Bryce. He needs, he needs oh. emotional healing. He emotional healing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and give him uh, first level cure wounds for beep beep boop 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 beep boop boop beep. There you go, Bubby. Oh, oh maximum healing. Bryce oh, almost topped healing. off. <laughs> that's the big healing, baby. I'm just no okay. getting poggers. I think he's feeling all right, then. Right, now that you up. mention it, I feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Run away, <laughs> stop, 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 stop it, it Ron. Stop it, Harry. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that no. was a sidetrack. So yeah. we got this. We've got what? We've got that ball thing. We got this. We have to still go get the ball thing. The spear? We, uh, this thing? I hold out the spear. We, we, we've already got it. That's what I thought. I'm making sure I didn't have a fever dream with that. Okay, okay good. And, All right, let's go. And that corpse didn't come to life. So this place is lit. Is it like lit by a torchlight? Is it actually lit by like holes in the ceiling? Holes in the ceiling. Holes in the ceiling. I wonder 
if there's any way out from here. Well, not from back there, no. Unless we want to risk a cave-in. I mean, we could try brute forcing our way out, but that doesn't yeah. seem like the brightest idea. I, we know a way out that'll work well enough. Come on, let's go. We can, yeah, yeah we can just be. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll dissipate the wildfire spirit. It's gone by now. Okay. Rage is done. Uh, Eden stays close to Bryce, kind of keeping like a wide distance between her and Neve. Oh. <laughs> you see what happens when you're a racist, Neve. <laughs> Neve does not care. She's too ignorant to know. Ignorant. <laughs> All right. As you guys approach, uh, Bryce, are we just taking the normal way? I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling that if we get back up there and we give this to her, she's going to turn on us. Am I being paranoid, or does anyone else have that mm. feeling as well? I was running a suspicion of that as well. Let me do a wisdom check. Do we believe her that if we break this, it won't take the barrier away? Uh, okay. I mean... I've known Lady Amor my whole life. She tends to know best. She said it herself. She doesn't remember herself. She just didn't remember this complicated structure with keys hidden in toilets and across the an entire mansion. I mean, can you blame her? What sense would it make for a thing being a catalyst for a barrier to sustain the barrier after being broken? Kind of kneel down in front of uh, Eden. Do you trust her? World insight. I'm so good at these. Yeah, you've done really good today. Is everybody rolling insight for this or just Bryce? No, just Bryce. I'm okay. right up in her face, bro. As she says this, you see a flicker of concern or maybe doubt. But she tells you, like I said, I, I've known Lady Amor my, my whole life, and even though she's dead, I, I, she, she knows best for us. Have I tried looking over Eden with my spirit vision before? You did, uh, when her little uh, head mabob was active, and you saw something around her then, but other times you have not seen anything. Well then, I'll take your word for it. You've given me no reason to distrust you. Fifteen years is plenty of time to get to know somebody, so... Wait, why don't you give me a lift? I'm gonna climb up first. So are you... Wait, where are you going? Uh, we're climbing up the way we came in. Oh. Okay. So, the, so you're crawling through the tunnel again? Yeah. God, here we go. Secret tunnel! All right. I won't have you roll anything Pretty since you all tunnel. made your way through. Oh, you emerge God. on Where's the other the GM? end. <laughs> you emerge. Here you are. Shadow still looks like it's uh, chilling. Yes, the shadows still look like they are simply vibing. Bryce can see that? I'm looking through my eyes of my familiar. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> Just wearing a skull in the right yeah. way to do so. There you go. Okay. I unhinge his jaw and I just put his skull on my head. <laughs> oh, God. That right. is horrible. So we're just heading straight back? Yeah, let's get back to where Lady Amor is. Stealthily, if possible. Everyone roll stealth for me. Would you is, uh, I would say it is still within an hour of entering the cave, so uh, the spell cast earlier still counts. Perfect. Yeah, because yeah, because I haven't cast any. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Epic. Uh, Bryce, Neve. Yeah, give me a moment. Let me give it to myself. Uh, Twenty-one. Beep, boop. Twenty-one. Nineteen. That is with advantage, mind you. Oh, yeah. 
And the plus 10, of course, but... You all make it without getting caught. The wounds seem, for the most part, healed. Uh-oh. Told you so. Eden... Alright. Uh, Ithquin, Neve, do you want to go ahead and make sure no creatures showed up? Uh, like for perception check? What was that? You mean like a perception check, or...? Yeah, like that's Eden asking you to. Oh, oh, Eden. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. yeah. Here you can come up a bit. F- further ahead, you mean? As they're walking away, Eden will like kind of stop you, Bryce. I trust her. So, something has been off about her today, and maybe it's just the fact she's dead. But I trust her, and you can hold that however you want. All right. After you. And she'll not. Wait, what's the fucking deal with you and making and like caring whether or not they're an elf or not? Like, as long as they're not a, as long as they're not a full blooded human. Just out of oh shit, shit, shit! They're coming! They're coming! They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm blind, not deaf, asshole. It's like I mean, it can it, it confirm all suspicions for me. You know, if there's not any uh, surgical scars behind your ears, is all. I don't know. Does it seem. Fully ill, if you will. Like, you know, just it just passed by. Like, maybe she was a half elf. I just that didn't occur to me. That could be my fault there. Oh. Yeah, I don't see her here neither. Let's go. Alright. Um, let me check something. So you go into the manor? Uh, who, uh, it'd be good to clarify who has the stone right now? That's an amazing question that I do not know the answer. I think Bryce, I think Bryce was the one who grabbed it. Yeah. Okay. Um, before we before we approach her with it, um, whoever's holding this down, do you want? Do we? Do we want to have you hold back? No. I'll I'll, uh, I'll let you guys lead the way, and I'll be behind you guys. I like that. I like that idea. Oh boy, I have bots in my stream now. I'm famous. Somebody oh said, shit! What bots? Want to become famous? Question mark. Buy followers. Bigfollows. Oh. <laughs> dot com. By the way, want to be famous? This show will be moving to Pornhub due to pee. <laughs> Just making sure, really quick. Um, do you know about the hoss bots? Is this a Terry? stream thing. Yeah. No. Okay, if anyone named Haas follows you, don't click on their profile. Do nothing except ban and like ban them from your channel. They're IP grabbers, so if you click on them, they can dox you. It's okay. I haven't checked my followers ever. Well then. <laughs> okay. I did yeah. not know that. that yeah, Twitch is a shit show right now. Anyways, uh-huh. you Go all enter. You. <laughs> you see Lady Amor is now on the ground in front of you, just kind of standing. And on she looks towards all of you. Go over to D Live where there's racist ghost VTubers. <laughs> you can find me in 902 Tijeras Avenue, New Mexico. <laughs> you don't tell my address. Alright, um, did, I'll kind of look at find him. I hold up the sphere, like in the back of the group. Perfect. And she'll hold her hands out. You let us out of here, won't you? Of course. Do I believe her? Do you? Do I do believe her? Roll, you want to roll insight? That's what I'm asking. We would love. I would love. <laughs> Let me check something. It's like we collectively would love to roll insight. We go. Ooh, okay. Uh, you can go ahead and make a try. Mm-hmm. Nice. 22. Question: Can I tell if she's a human, like, or was a human when she was a goat when she was alive? She an elf. She seems to be the descendant of a Goliath, like mostly uh, human, but she does have yeah. Goliath blood. Yeah, he definitely does it from the get go. But let's let's see. Why are you guys is... fucking racist? Let me roll Eden. If Quint, this has been from the beginning. Hey, if Quint Bryce, hates humans, Bryce didn't He's, care they, at all. <laughs> look what they did to the Isles Rydal. Like he fucking just. Oh. All right, well, like he was ready to leave Baxter under the tree. 
we're not justifying the racism. We're just understanding <laughs> where it's coming from. At the end of the day, <laughs> uh, Eden rolled a two on insight. Um, you don't have any reason to not trust her. She has been perfectly amicable so far. Okay. Besides the time she uh, attacked Eden, but that was very much a vote. <laughs> very much so after. 20, we so the 22 was like, yeah. yeah, she's fine. It was very much after we attacked, yes. Oh boy, guys, I can buy 200 followers for $2.10. Dude, that's so good. Did you check sure. that website? Yeah. If you just that's give how you that... get IP grabbed. Bruh. <laughs> And then on top, of I didn't this, click on their yeah, link. I just searched the website. Give, 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 give us you know, your, give us that twelve, you know, that sixteen-digit number on the frontier. The funny numbers on and, 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 and those funny numbers on the back. Yeah. Okay. Um, Eden seems four three like, four seven six nine six nine. <laughs> uh, what do you What do you guys do? So we trust her, basically. I okay. said you don't have any reason to distrust her. Okay, yeah, so we'll trust her. Yeah, we'll trust her then. I'm gonna walk up to her. I'm gonna look at the dead zombies that we killed, like individually. Look at all of them, and then I'm gonna look at her, and then I'm gonna hand her the stone. All right. She takes it in her hands, and she smiles and she looks up. Thank you. I knew you could be barking to it. What was it you wanted again? To leave this place. Ah, yes, of course. And she kind of holds it in her hands, and you watch as, like, this kind of energy begins flowing, like, from her heart. It threw her arms into the orb, and you watch as the orb begins to shine very brightly. Um... And it begins shining more and more and more until eventually it turns into this dark purple and this beam of light emits out of the top of it through the roof and you hear can hear like kind of a dull like echoing sound. And then she looks down at you. Perfect. If you don't mind, I'll accompany you out. I look back at my group, looking for approval. Surprised she's able to do that, even. Sure. I did think you were stuck in this manner, were you not? I would hope not. Did I say that? You yes, did. You did. Oh, silly me. We made our way into town on our own accord. We can see ourselves out. We'll bid you adieu right here. If that's what you desire. The orb, of course, stays here. Bryce bows again like when he first met her. I thank you for your hospitality. She nods. And she, like, floats up 15 feet in the air here. Neve, why don't you lead the way out? What was that? I said, Neve, why don't you lead the way out? Okay. Oh, you can go through the front. There are bodies blocking the door. And she'll, like, kind of turn, and you'll watch her kind of point her hand towards them. And then you'll see this blast of fire emerge, and the bodies are, like, instantaneously scorched away. The creatures outside won't bother you anymore. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll lead the way. She'll make her way towards the door. It went, Bryce. Y'all follow. Keeping an eye on this ghost. Yeah, like, you know, respecting the stinky insight check is like, sure, like, Semi-suspicious, but not enough to be like, okay, no, no, okay. I will say, just because you rolled low insight, that doesn't mean you can't distrust her. It just means you don't necessarily have any evidence exactly. in that yeah, moment. Exactly, that I don't have adequate reasoning to. So it's like, okay, it's suspicious, but respect, yeah, res respecting it 
following through with whatever their promises are, but heeding an air of caution with it. Right. Are you ready? Do they make it to the door safely? They make it to the door safely. Bryce doesn't... Uh, what does Bryce do? I kind of nod to them to open the door. I'm going to hold my ground here for half a second. Uh-huh. All right. As you... You two open the door, I assume? Yeah. As you do, you look out and you see Edinburgh proper. Uh, it's... Seem you look out and you see that the barrier before, while it was kind of iridescent and rainbow and shifted through colors, it is now a solid dark purple. Mm. Um, you see that all of the undead are no longer milling about, but instead they're staring straight up to the barrier. Oh. Well then, let us go, shall we? By us, we mean the girl, too, right? Yeah, I'm like, she's behind me. Yeah, Eden is, like, sticking with... Um, that, 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 uh, looking at the ghost, she's coming with us, too, right? The ghost looks down at you, and she nods. And she... Good. After you. Okay. All right, let's start we'll still walking on out. As soon as one of them safely crosses the threshold, I'll follow them. Okay, they leave. Uh, she, uh, Lady Amor will go last. I will keep then, myself in between Lady Amor and Eden the whole time. All right, as you all head out, I'm going to move you to the Edinburgh proper. Hello, Mr. Anson. How was your day? Hi, Mr. Anson. Dear Evan Anson. I made that joke already. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Perry said, uh, hi, and then Perry said, dear Evan Hansen, which I already beat him to. <laughs> all right, you all head out. Yeah, but you live you with are... Hansen and I don't, so that my, my thinking was quicker. I, I called him right after the movie, and when he picked up, I was like, dear Evan Hansen, today is going to be a great day. <laughs> I have only seen the trailers. I haven't seen the movie. It's awful. Anyway, I figured <laughs> You come out, and Lady Amor floats over to the water fountain in the middle and kind of floats above it. And then she gestures towards the town exit. I believe the exit is that way. Yes, that's the way we came. Safe to assume if you've lived here? Yes, quite. I'll start making my way over there. Oh, well, that's too far. All right, right there. there <laughs> Whoa, too far. <laughs> We're walking fast, baby. Faster, homebound. Eden just follows behind Bryce. Da, 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 da. All right. Uh, do you leave town? Yeah, if we're allowed right. to. Yeah, she doesn't stop you. She's just the, holding the orb in her hands. And the barrier doesn't stop us either. That's right. what I'm so you, of. you start heading for the end. Yeah, sure. You travel. The air seems colder now, so and every now and then these guys. <laughs> you see. Uh, now we gotta introduce our we gotta introduce our new friends to our old friends. Who knows? Maybe they'll be dead, and we won't have to worry about that. <laughs> every now and then, you see a few flitters of snow coming down. Hold on, let's listen to see if we hear someone talking way too much than they should be. Uh, no, you we can't. Hear, think you hear that. precisely that. You hear a lot of mumbling. Yes. Let me. Fuck. Where did I? Oh wait, I didn't have a Baxter token. Because I have to find a new one for him. Um, Oops, back to put the scope of the skull across. Yo, <laughs> my checking account is crudely photoshopped as Baxter's portrait and is put like a skull. One. I can't <laughs> take a, I can't take a screenshot because my bank app won't let me. But my checking account has six hundred and ninety four dollars and twenty cents. Nice. <laughs> Six nine well, four get, twenty. Get someone to take a photo of your phone, bro. I, nobody's on. home right now. Go st- fucking show it on camera then. <laughs> yeah, show all my you bank fu- info on camera. <laughs> <laughs> See my checking account number, guys. Well, you, well, you have a web- whatever. You don't have, have a web cam. You don't have a checking account routing number. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like, you yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Better safe than sorry. Yes, yes, we understand. Jesus, you know what all I right. mean. You... I'm just gonna be a bad role model. Don't listen to me. Uh, Neve, if you can pull yourself onto the page. 
<laughs> maybe I can, maybe I can't. Here I am. Hello? Right. You approach this cabin. What do you do? Baslo. Are you alive? Are you two alive in there? Yes, we're glad to see that you're alive too. Unfortunately. Oh, oh don't be like that, Baxter. Come on. I mean, Baxter. anytime you want out of this life, Baxter, you tell me, because I told them I would only be okay with it if the soul was willing. <laughs> all right, you're not willing, I'll send I'll you right down. <laughs> after all I'll that we've you been back. through, after all that we've been through, come on. Yes, Quint, come on. I told you the only reason I'd be okay with bringing him back is if, is if he wanted to be back. 69 420! And he came back, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> He didn't have a choice, apparently. Not All with right. their technique. Cut the this formalities. Is... Enough. Look, we're traveling with this person right now. I feel uneasy. We're leaving now. Come. We can explain. Yes, we need on to the hurry. We, the barrier has been changed, but we need to get out before they change their mind. Come on. Let's Unless see. you have something, to grab whatever you need. Also, this is Eden, Neve, Neve, this is Baxter, Laszlo. We'll have more introductions on the road. Let's go. Uh, the, horned one, the horned one seems insufferable. <laughs> 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 You'll fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Eden just kind of waits by the entrance. Uh, she like waits out, like kind of sitting on the porch while everyone packs up, getting ready to go. As soon as he makes that announcement, he goes back out there with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I, like everyone's already packed up. It's... Yeah. Bryce is like, time to go. <laughs> yep, yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That, that was weird. Right? No, I agree. Very yes, very. And we never but... found Dithe either. What were we going to do? Fight her? I thought it might come to that. She lied to us about being able to leave the manor. So I don't know what else she was being truthful or lying to us about. Regardless, if we can leave, I would like to do so now. Yes, so we'll confirm that suspicion first, I suppose, because... If we were wrong on a decision prior, it not much. I reason, reasonable to assume we we can't do anything about it now. All right. Um. So you all head for the e- exit. Mm-hmm. All right. You make your way. It's a few minute walk to get there, until eventually you see the edge. You see that the kind of area like at the barrier, like that distinct line, you can see some snow is starting to spill through inside. Uh, Eden looks between all of you and kind of rushes ahead, excited to finally leave this place. You watch as she gets to the barrier, stops, puts her fan through it and walks through. And immediately she's like, shit, it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be real fucking cold out there, and it's gonna take off his ja- his uh, his jacket that he was originally using to protect the object, egg, and give it to her. Uh, as you reach up to give it, your hand stops at the barrier. Mm. What? <laughs> mm. Bryce puts his hand to the barrier. It's solid. When you come back in. Can you hear us? She Or she only put her hand in, right? Or did she go all the way through? She went all the way through, and you see as she pushes against it, and she can no longer come through, and you see she starts, like, hyperventilating. Uh-oh. She can't Laura come will, back. Uh, poke she a claw. Clora cannot go through. Can you push Baxter, the cloak? Laszlo. Can you push the, the cloak through? Just the inanimate... He'll, just, it's a non-living he'll throw the cloak. It stops against the... The barrier. <sighs> that fucking bitch. Do we That's a, the, uh, the, this is what we wanted, right? The, like, you, you, you're you just fucking with me, right? Bryce puts both hands on. We're gonna figure it's this out, tr- but we're stuck in here for now. It's when we'll try and stab the barrier. Uh, what weapon? Uh, he will try the sword from the Ka- Galaka Scald, and he will st- take a step or two to the side away from where she was. Ooh! Um... 
Not like a hard, like, I'm gonna stuck chat, but more like... Yeah, how hard see, are you doing this? Like, he's poking, like, applying pressure, trying to see if he can maybe either A, get th something through, or B, maybe, maybe put a hole through this thing, and, like, we squeeze through. As you, like, start pushing against it, it stops, and you start pushing harder and harder and harder, and then you see a slight crack start forming on the blade, and you stop and pull back. Fuck. This, uh, what, I, um, maybe we, we could dig through the snow, right? I mean, look, the, the snow's getting through, so that maybe there's a, 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 a cave, a, a tunnel? Did this, uh, Eden, well, did this heads. barrier block magic? What was that? Did this barrier block magic? Um, I mean... I, well, I can I try that. So. I'll, I'll produce flame, throw it at an angle, so if it's going to ricochet, it's not going back to us. Yeah, as you do, the flame hits the barrier and kind of explodes against it. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, it did when it, it's been up and nothing could We see the leave. snow falling, like where it's passing through. It looks entirely random, like one in every hundred flakes makes its way through. Samuel, I kind of call to the spirit that I called. Uh, do you think you could get us through this? Uh, the runaway spirit, uh, is the, the guy that was, a uh, enslaved to a noble who freed himself and his people. Uh, that a feature lets me teleport up to five people 30 feet away. So it's a teleportation. Uh, it's exactly five people other than Eden. Um, you can try. I'm kind of trying to hopefully ask if he thinks he can make it through. He'll, he'll kind of flip forward, put his hand against the barrier, and then, like, you see him apply pressure. And then you see, like, kind of flickering around him for a few moments, and then he looks back at you and shakes his head. I'm going to take a knee. Eden, I know it's cold out there. We're going to be right back. We're going to go fix this. Please just hold on for as long as you can, okay? I, I mean, I... I if you can't tell, I'm not really dressed for the cold. Uh, is, is there anything I can do? Kind of looks around. Just looking at making sure GM making a burrow under the snow, similar to like, you know, like an igloo or that type of thing. Would that help? If you help? want to tell her to do that. Would that act? Do I, does it want to know that would actually help? I'm just making sure he's a plus You've six survival. You've seen people do that. Like, you saw Bryce if you do can it dig Dig yourself as much of a little burrow under the snow as you can. It'll insulate you and keep whatever warmth you have in. She she shakes her head like, no, that's that's ridiculous. Like, like an just, igloo. Just just let me back in. And she can't let you back in. We don't have control of this fucking thing until we kill that fucking ghost. You, as you're talking, you see her like visibly frustrated. And she, like, punches against the barrier. And she's like, fuck! Easy, save your energy. Any open wounds will only freeze. Fucking... You need to keep your pace. You need her. to keep moving. To keep your body temperature high. We will be back. Something. As you're saying it, you see she's, like, shaking and high friendly. Like, no! Fuck that! We're figuring this out here. And she punches it again. I need to roll something. <sighs> Samuel, can you bring her to me? As she punches it, you see a crack appear around her hand. Ooh. Like, like her hand is cracking or she's punching it? The barrier. Oh, oh. She's, oh yeah. She's an, I, I think she's a construct. That's why she can go through the barrier. Um, can you, you bring see... her to me? Wait, the, you said the barrier cracked? or the No, hand her cracked? hand cracked. No, the barrier. The barrier cracked. Oh. You see the the item on her forehead is beginning to glow brightly. He's going to she... take his plus one longsword and try and stab this barrier, try and help her. It does nothing. She Fuck. strikes against the, the barrier again. You see another one open. Like, a, just a tiny crack, and you see she begins, like, pushing against it with all her might. I'm going to make a roll to check. Keep it up. Can I bardic inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. What is your bardic inspiration? It's a D8. I go... But that's working. Keep it going. You can do this. You're also a guidance. <laughs> I mean, if I can, I will, but... <laughs> Silas is, like, giving, like, a very, like, affirmative, like, you can 
Hey, if we if we gotta if we gotta give the DMPCs some plot armor, hey, by all means. <laughs> it's a D eight and a D four. Especially when they are when they are a child. All right. Uh, she gives another strike. You see it. Another small crack appears, and we're gonna try one last one. With a natural 20. Oof, oh, shit. Plus? You see as she <laughs> strikes it. Oh, plus a 1, plus a 3. Um, and what is her wisdom? Plus a 1. So you see as she strikes it, and you see like all of these small dents and cracks she made connect, and you see a small hole opening between them. But you see it's starting to repair itself and close down again. Uh, shit! Uh, I, do I get... I quickly pull her through it. All right. As she's like stuttering, trying to figure out what to do, you reach out, you grab her like by both shoulders, and you pull her through, and the portal closes behind her. The glowing on her forehead goes away. I don't think we all could have made it fast enough, and you were going to die out there of hypothermia. Forgive me for bringing you back here. Shit. The one thing I'd like to try, um, I'll try create bonfire. Am I able to produce it outside of the barrier? You are not. Your magic is halted. Good. You guessed right. <laughs> uh, she kind of looks between all of you. Uh, uh, if we want to okay, stay bitch. long enough, I, I can try to get through. Uh, no. I, I don't know how I did that, so... I just gather our I... thoughts. It's warmer in the house. I, I, either way, arrest be it we go back to fight her or we try to go through the barrier a, a, arrest is arrest will be worthwhile I, it, it, if, if my opinion means anything I agree so you're going to go back to the shack mm-hmm. as you're going you see she's already covered in snow and her fingertips are like turning purple Ooh. Yeah, I beckon for uh, Ithquint's cape. <laughs> oh, I will also yeah, he's, uh, yeah. I will also produce flame, holding the flame in between my hands closer to her fingers to try and warm them up. Sure. I cast uh, Presidentation to warm the cloak, too, so it's, like, very warm. By the time you get to the apartment, you see a bit of her color. Not the apartment, the, uh, the cabin, which is maybe a ten-minute walk away. You see much of her color has returned. The snow has melted off. She's still a little pale, and you see she's like visibly shaken, but she's alive. Um, we used all the charges on this? Yes. Unless Laszlo found some way that it got recharged. I sincerely doubt it, though. <laughs> yeah, um, Laszlo, go ahead what? and roll something. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Just to be a kind DM, because this has been a rough session. <laughs> I will roll for Laszlo and see if he has figured out a way to do one more. <laughs> All right. Because you did have that one that didn't work. All right. What's his... Let me check out his stats real quick. All right. We're going to do an intelligence check and uh -huh. see if maybe he can pull it out. <laughs> the DC is 14. Uh-huh. You got a 14 plus 4. You have one more use. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 he, he actually... Uh, I'm including like jawbone factor too. Yes. Maybe oh, I totally forgot about the jawbone. Jawbone oh, factor. Like factor. Zero. Um, <laughs> zero. Uh, you said lady and more. Yeah. As you begin looking through, it's dark. It's incredibly dark. Um, but as it, you see the spell almost like adjust, like an auto brightness filter, <laughs> and you see you are in the cave underneath the Amor house and you see a rotted body lying against the grounds filled with arrows. Show me her spirit. What was that? Show me her spirit. It flickers, and then it just shows you the body again. I need to rest here for a moment. Perhaps a few hours. See if they come to us. This place is more defendable anyway. So you're gonna rest here? Yeah. 
as you're kind of walking, Eden's going to like look up to Laszlo and Bryce. What is that? The, the, the body, what does that mean? Why, why couldn't you see her spirit? I don't know if that sort of magic can find a ghost or if it's more foreboding, then that means the spirit we were speaking to was not Lady Amor. You, you guys, you guys met a spirit. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm an actual ghost. A couple of them. One of them possessed me. It fucking sucked. I wouldn't recommend it. Big important ghost. Okay, got, it, got it, got it, got it. Ignore me. Ignore me. I got that jawbone. Still yeah. on there. Yeah, he's, it, how's that jawbone looking? Oh, it is incredibly cracked and fucked. And by this point, you can see like small pieces of black and red ichor drip out of. They evaporate by the time they hit the ground. Can you show me how you recharge this? Perhaps I can try. I, I, can, I guess I can try. There's one more person I'd like to check in on if we can find out where Dithe is. Perhaps he knows something. Laszlo kind of goes into this explanation about how because of that misfire from earlier, like you had like three or four misfires, but because of each of those, it kind of lost its magical potency and kind of talked about how applying like the correct amount of heat and by adding a few crumbs from these candles around it and taking up some of that magical ink and like even putting a bit of himself in uh, like his own power, he's able to recharge just a use. I will allow you to make an attempt. Yeah, Bryce will burn his seance candle, he'll give a drop of blood, some of the crumbles, and then, is it an arcana? Yes. Alright, Silas, let's do this. So, guidance. 14 plus... The pass was 14. 15. Okay. Right. <sighs> Alright. Cauldron of seeing, whatever you prefer. Where is Dithe? As you ask, where is Dithe? It's odd. You see, it's almost as if like two separate images stacked on top of each other. One of them, you see the shadow, the demon that Eden killed deep within the cave. And then you watch as the creature begins melting into the ceiling and you watch it move through the cracks and the fine details of the dirt and the granite all the way until it emerges from the well and crawls up meeting with the spirit of Lady Amor. And you see them merge together into one amorphous form. Out of it, you see a creature emerge. Let me find it. I will, I'm pulling it onto the map, not as a threat, but just so you can see what it looks like. What we see. <laughs> yeah. We, we asked for Dithe, that. and what, what the f- Oh. We should have, we, we should have killed some more things there. Yeah, yeah. Laz was just sitting here like, what the fuck do you guys do over there? Jeez. Complicated. You see but, that creature uh... holding the orb in his hand, smiling cruelly as the vision fades away. So, as it clenches cracks his knuckles, that's where we're going, kill him. <sighs> Rest for about an hour or so, what do you think? Yes, yeah, so I can recover some of my abilities if we take a sh short breather. Uh, Laszlo cringes, Neve is all right with that. Yes, and you're going to continue to stay behind. He grimaces even more, where it's like, like if you don't... Yeah, I get it. You'll if stay. you don't mind if I stay, I would love to stay. Yeah. We've been over this. I prefer your cowardice show before we leave. Then Baxter, what's your effective uh, combative range? <clears throat> uh, I mean... I'd say a couple hundred feet, but I was about to say. I have a feeling, uh, not to speak down on all y'all, but if something should go wrong, there should be a final line before that fucker gets out of here. I was going to set up a base on top of the house. Laszlo, I was going to have you help me. 
Yeah, yeah, I'd rather do that than go wherever the fuck they're going, but... Oh. If you fail, it'll be up to the two of us to stop him. That work? The last load doesn't like the sound of that either. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, Why is good anymore, Anyway, I mean, that's up to you. We, aren't going to, we are not going to force either of you to do anything you wouldn't want to. If you'll be more effective setting up a base here, then so be it. Uh, yeah, I should do fine. Eden, would you rather stay here with them or come with us? As you're talking, she's already like standing, pulling out her two daggers. Like, I'm gonna go with you. Did she see oh, what then. I saw? Yes. Pretty sure everyone can see into the cloak from when it does. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go after seeing that? Beats the fuck out of staying here. It seems like Dithe is responsible for all of this. I'll be right we back. could have Sorry. killed the fucker when he was when he was resting in the cave. I don't think that would have. I killed him already, and look, he's back. I think we would have had to kill both. I we had an opportune time to do that when they weren't merged together. We can talk about how much we should have done it, but it doesn't change the fact that we have to do it now, and I'm coming with you. And as she's talking, the thing on her forehead begins glowing ever so slightly. And, and you, you see Neve's eyes squinting, not in disrespect, like, not in disrespect. No, it's in approval. It's more of a, oh, like more joyful. Like, we like your spirit. Are we going to take a rest, or are we going now? How long of a rest do you need? I'd like an hour, just to top, just to be able to heal a little bit. Same for Flora. At that point, well, about an hour before uh, they're going to be able to spend for the day. Assuming we're not trying to be stealthy anymore, I can oblige that as well. An hour works. I can read the journal, see if I can have, work out how this fucking thing works. Bryce, anything to say? Take that as a no. I don't I give a fuck back. what you think. As she's pointing the Lazlo, like, I, I don't, don't, yeah, don't, don't care what you think. Just no, no. Um, we'll, 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 we'll be straightforward. We already don't like you. Is Bryce with us or no? I I think he had to go do something. We can wait a minute. Sorry. Who yeah. wants to say a slur and get his channel banned? <laughs> yes, and he has no idea why. Don't you yeah, and then with, 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 yeah, with Neve just being just just being a meanie to Laszlo, he's just more shrugging his shoulders like, uh, okay, this guy, I don't know you. Don't, don't you fucking dare! Just, more, it's just like a. a... <laughs> did you did you hear the slur bit? Yes, I have my headset on. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, yeah, nice. so uh, take a short rest here if we can, and then head back to the town proper. Yeah, let's take a short rest. Okay. We don't think. I mean, I'm assuming, cool. Assuming that we're done being stealthy. Are you Scottish or not? Okay. Do they ever know what they are? He's turning back and forth between Irish and Scottish. I know, I know. It's 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 a rough we're one. We're not being but, stealthy anymore. We're, we're, we're saying fuck it. Perfect. You're on the uh, Neve's on your side then. She respects your decision regardless of what it is. He's speaking in the third person now. Yeah, Quint is concerned when he is saying in the third person, but he, yeah, but Quint is not going to question it. Yes, yes, very good. I, I keep petering back before Irish and Scottish. I mean, it's, it's it, 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 granted it's a fantasy setting, so we I can make I, I can make the accent every, whatever I damn well please. Here with that, I gotta pee. Uh, over the hour, you will see Eden kind of like sits in one of the like on one of the desks, and you see she pulls out that journal from earlier, and you see she's like reading through it rapidly, like less in depth. Like absorption and more like flipping through, trying to like, like skim it. All right. 
Okay. Uh, are we able to take a short rest here? Yeah. The whip and Clara are both up to max. Very cool. It took all it took three out of the four hit dice of Clara to get there, but we got there. You can heal an extra two if you need it for my song or rest. An extra two? Oh shit, then I wouldn't need that last hit dice then for Clora. So I'll save that in case we some for some reason. Oh, wait, what's hold up, what's going on here? Oh, there's hit dice right. if you need it. Uh, Smoke them if you got them. No, I'm Gucci. I'll be right back. We're just getting stuff sorted out. Are we going to... Question, because it's 11 o'clock, and I know we've been playing for the last uh, four hours, give or take. Are we looking to continue to the full fight of whatever the hell is going on, or... My schedule's open. Um, need... Huh? I said my schedule's open. Um, I was going to say I can play for maybe another half hour, but that I am... Oh, Anson! Anson! I think then it might... Be better to call it here at the end of a short rest. Here. Just give so me, can... give me like twenty seconds. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do think that if we're gonna go do the big fight, it's gonna take longer than half an hour. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if Ghost even told you guys this. Like we had me and her were part of a game with a horrible GM who was like, and it was like it was like three in the morning for me and for me and uh, Kayla, the other player, and we had been playing for a couple hours and we we're like, all right. Let's just call him. They're like, no, it's so close to the end. Like, listen, listen, listen. Like, half hour tops. It was an hour and a half later. By the end of it, they threw a fucking Tarask at us. And I'm like, no, you just gotta do this thing. And it was all well, dead. Well, like, to more are, shit isn't going to happen. Yeah. Like, fucking. I once pitched oh, yeah, a one just, shot for, like, a tournament style battle one shot that was supposed to be, like, five hours long. And it was, like, 16 yeah. hours long. And everyone wanted to punch me in the face afterwards. I'm back. <laughs> You, were you part of that? <laughs> what? The tournament of uh, Exuvia. The what? The the tournament one shot I ran that lasted sixteen hours and everyone hated me. The uh, the session you ran at the party that lasted for sixteen hours. Yeah, it was a tournament. It was a one uh, one shot where like you were all doing like one v one tournaments PvP. I do. I was there for that. That one wasn't bad actually. That one was only like. 10 hours and then we had more the next day the one i do remember is when i had work in the morning and then we played for 16 hours straight in my house so i couldn't like leave and go to bed and then in, <laughs> it hit a point the where i almost point. i almost physically attacked you <laughs> Oof. Probably i think we're probably something. cool to call so, here then so, so, so if Eden more was... than half an hour if i was Eden... gonna i was gonna say um if we want to finish all role play, all questions and setup you want, and then to walk to the town, that's where I was going to call it. Okay, like as we entered the town. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'd be down with that. I was, to... I was, I was yeah. telling about the time uh, a GM who, sh who shouldn't be named threw a Tarask at us after being like, oh yeah, it's going to be like a half hour. Oh, like... Mike the Canadian? That <laughs> <Yeah>. guy? <laughs> I just got fucking <laughs> This shithead? <laughs> so this is mine. Yeah. It's fucking Tarask. So before I left to go pee, um, I, I overheard Eden was going to be looking through the journal while while yeah. short resting. So naturally, as piquing Laszlo's interest, is hey, what 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 what, what, what you got there? What what, what you got there? <laughs> by, by, the, by, by the way, Laszlo, Laszlo, nice to meet you. You were you were you were Eden Eden. I what, what was, I, I don't Eden. know. Dear. Eat, eat it, eat it. Oh, so, God. like, gently hold her hand out to shake yours. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, he's just gonna be an awkward goober about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just vigorously shake her hands. So what, what? So what? What's what's that you got there? It, uh, uh, it, uh, it's a journal. It, uh, <laughs> you, uh, you're really close. Of uh, yeah, 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 leaning in closer. Uh, who did it belong to? Oh God, Jesus! Well, he's, you know, he, he's got like you know when, when you got a cat who's got the dilated pupils of just a mm, mm, roll yeah. insight for Laszlo with your oh shit with your negative jaw effect. <laughs> I do want you to know you're dripping like black evil dark like wait really? onto her. All, all, all the better, perfect. <laughs> oh God, he you're has so... a, he has a plus one to that insight. So you roll it for me, GM. Uh. Oh, you only have a plus what? Uh, Ellie, Ellie. He had a plus four to int, a plus two to dex. Everything else was garbage. He was okay, so with the, with a nat, a nat two. 
plus one minus sixteen. <laughs> Bryce walks over to Laszlo and like grabs him by the scruff, and he's like, "All right, personal space is a thing that we talk about." <laughs> For insight, we okay, never yeah. about that. <laughs> For insight, you know, even like you ask the question, and like she doesn't even have time to comprehend it before you're like pulled away. <laughs> yeah, you don't normally have to talk about it. It's implied. <laughs> I'll pull him away from me, and, and then I'll uh, I'll walk over to uh, <laughs> to Neve. Personal space, Jesus. Neve, a moment of your time, and I'll kind of point over to this room. Right. Uh, yeah, she'll she'll walk over. Uh, at the entrance, she'll stop and see oh, how. Oh, you said Eden. Pardon, pardon. You said Eden. Pardon. My bad. I said, I said, <laughs> like I said how... Neve. I said Neve. Oh, oh, you said oh. Neve. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, hold up. <laughs> I will. Uh, one syllable versus two. It's just tough. It's a tough. Eden, thing. Neve. Is this uh, a door I can close? It is. I will remind you that room is filled with blood, and obviously many people died here. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, there's another. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's like, okay, and <laughs> yes. And Bryce and. closes the door. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Who am I? I find it convenient that you found us when you did. I find it convenient that after I scried on someone by the name of what was it? It was a uh, was it a lotion? Oh. Uh, that was like. A thousand notes to go. Let me check our yeah, yeah, yeah. app. <laughs> it was the. Uh, it was either Via or it was uh, Salvis. I think uh, it was like the. I think it was Salvis, yeah. Because that, that person had the owl mask, right? Oh, this yeah. is the person yes. I told this. After I scried on someone named Salvis, you show up looking exactly like her, but now you go by what? Neve? All t- far too convenient, wouldn't you say? You want to roll us an inside check real quick, Chief? I'm so good at those. Ponders. <laughs> Regar- regardless, um, you see a very, very confused look on Eve's face. It's like a... I don't know that name you speak of. Like, wow, congratulations. You play dumb better than Ithquint does. And that says... And, uh, <laughs> Like you, shit. you, you, you ask who I am, and if we're being honest here, Bryce, I, I think you know that answer better than I do, because I, I wish I knew who I was. Why does everyone in this town just forget who they are? First Lady and Moore is not Lady Moore, but Jesus ain't lying to us. Now, did you or did you not see me spying on? Scrying spell. You were spying on me? What is the last thing you remember before coming here? She'll she'll recollect. Um, do you want me to DM that to you, or are you okay with me saying that out of yeah, yeah, By all means. We'll, we'll, we'll allow you that freedom there. You... You know, Neve knows, you know, you have memories lasting about how long we've discussed privately. Um, You remember, like, the few nights before you got here were particularly stormy, but you were tracking the thing you were instructed to follow, and it led you here. And you entered the town, you stayed hidden until these people appeared, and you began following them. Uh, best I can say is an accident happened. What, what, accent who I was before that, I. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so that was out of character. Is this where, um, what accent? Just, <laughs> there was, I wish I knew. All I remember was waking up. There was something. It was a thing. I, I, the best I could describe it is something hunting, if not myself. Um, there, there was dead bodies everywhere. Um, happened to be somewhere where I was able to hide. Um, I had to get away. I was able to I was able to get away. Um, after that, I've just had this feeling, if you will, that's uh, almost as if. Almost as if the world has been uh, urging me to uh, 
follow, follow the lights. There were the lights in the sky. So that's, that's followed my intuition, my gut feeling. I was, came right. here. Uh, you cannot tell Ithquint you follow the lights in the sky. <laughs> 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 It's, 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 yeah, like, still not in agreement. It's like, yeah, I, all right. Take a quick hour nap. <laughs> so the quick hour nap, I guess. He's just... All right, well, <laughs> cool. whether Bryce believes her or not, he's done questioning her. He heads back into this room. Okay. Eden, Laszlo, Eden will kind of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eden will, like, kind of not, like, try to get you over to her. <laughs> Hi, uh, <laughs> Laszlo here seems to know a lot. I was wondering if he has any expertise in, uh... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> in no, ancient... he's fresh out. <laughs> no, uh, in ancient uh, technology and automatons, and if not, if he could leave. Uh, and, and like, as you're, the whole process of her saying that is, you know, ears perk of, I know things, and then mentioning a thing is more of a, uh, okay, I may or may not be, no, I'm not really big, I'm not really a big expert on that, so I'm just gonna, I'll just, I'll just kind of, last Peter, little, did you blew a potion oh, today? Kind of crawl away onto this bench here. Laszlo, Neve is gonna, you, Neve uh, is gonna move over to the hearth here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Laszlo, did you brew a potion today? Uh-huh. Did I? Did I? Uh, sorry. Probably not, because you're so focused on. Yeah, I, I, no. It's like honest. It's like sorry, my uh, my <laughs> trying to try to have the actions bleed into get into each other here. Is it? Like, sorry. Is it? Like, um, no. Oh no. Okay, so, sorry, my 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 memory's been a little blurry, blurry lately. Um, no, I didn't make anything. Uh, the. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's still it's still a bit of time to make something out of the alchemy jar if you need something out of that. No. But I. I how many days? How how long have we been here at? Actually? About a day. I, oh, about a day. Okay, so n no more close enough time to be getting more poison out of the spider. Um, no, but the alchemy jar. Yeah, it's it's good to get something out of that. Um, uh, once a day for that. Um, feel free to use that as much as you like. Well, then I kind of look over at Ithquint. How about some? So how about some ale? It's been a while since I've had a drink. If if not ale, I can make wine out of it too. If that's I why like you're fat. I like wine better. If <laughs> Gwent, what is your poison of choice? And I could go for ale. It'd be fine. But it's one or ale. the other. I can't make both. We'll, we'll do ale. We'll go oh. for anything. We've got water, so. Cool. So yeah. So, so uh, Laszlo will shake up the jar and just... ale, and then. And then start, uh, would use a yeah, drink to glass, calm glass his nerves. And any receptacles to be holding liquid in? A anything? Anything? I'll just say there's a couple of spare cups for you to use. Yep. It's fine. I have vials in my bag, so he'll just pull those out. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, starts, it starts fashioning some drinks for everybody. For all who are willing, Neve is, uh, Neve is like, no, pass. Eden doesn't take one. Okay, cool. So just, okay. All right, that's fine. I guess more. For, uh, back Bryce through. kind of ponders, like, what's the legal drinking age for an elf since they live so long? <laughs> We're in limbo. Who cares? Uh, Baxter? We don't want to drink Eden. Baxter? Yep. We have to Baxter deal with... looks at you, and then you see he reaches up. He pulls apart the, like, cloak around his neck, and you see it's just a hollow, like, like you see the vertebrae, but there's like no esophagus or anything. He has and no put, stomach. Yeah, and then he puts his cloak back together. Figured it, it was no enough to offer. I guess it's. I guess it's for. I guess it's just more for you. For, for. I mean, more for you two. I'll have whatever you don't have. I guess, but I will. Um, you, 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 you are the ones going back into the breach there. So if you need more, by, by all I means, I take a tankard of water. I cast Presidentation twice. Once to warm it up to where it's kind of like a warm beverage. And the second time to flavor it chocolate. like hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said, woman, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's making fucking hot chocolate. It's water that tastes like hot chocolate. Nice. And I'll give that to Eden. She'll, like, no look up at you and just say, I'm not five, and then she'll drink it. But then fucking, <laughs> I, pour her, I pour her a glass <laughs> of ale, then drink up. I'm, I'm not five. <laughs> I'm not five. Be an adult or be a child, decide right now. <laughs> all right, all right. 
<laughs> and then Bryce kind of goes, and I fucking love hot chocolate, all right? <laughs> all right, well, she's for the... like, she's drinking it. She's like laughing. I, I guess for the three willing to drink. Um, God, we have... her, her not being your sister really is fucking with you. For those willing to drink, we have about, you know, he'll like shake the jug again close to his ears. Like, oh, about four gallons worth of ale. I don't think she's my sister. No, but you damn well act like it. That's all well, I'm saying. A young woman. <laughs> she was here defenseless. Forgive me for being a bit protective. Hero complex much. I'll take some of that. <laughs> What'd you say? Right? Oh, tankard fill. Oh, he'll, 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 he'll the hero fun. complex like, oh my yeah. god, need to take care and protect the young girl. <laughs> He'll just yeah, have hot chocolate. Yeah, he will just <laughs> toss the jug at this point. Just say, Here you go. <laughs> like, hey, all yours, Bubby. Full oh, tank, Just gotta get my white knight armor ready. <laughs> <laughs> you just wake up one night, you've just pressed the digitation to your clothes to just, just pure whiteness. <sighs> just saw the chat. I just saw. Oh, for Baxter? <laughs> Ellie, did you get yeah. <laughs> the Baxter so, photo? <laughs> no, no, the, um, yeah. no, the Twitch, the, the Twitch chat. Oh, did somebody? Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just simp. Oh wait, we can't say that. You'll get banned. Oh damn! Oh, yeah. I'm not a simp. Careful. Yeah, hey, okay. careful now. That's a gamer word. Don't be saying. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not an affiliate, so I can still say simp. Yeah. Okay, you're right. <laughs> Bryce is not yes. simping for Eden at all. That'd be a little weird. That'd be a little but, weird. Um, yeah, also, you know, she jinks her jinks. She uh, backs her heads out. You hear, like, Furiously kind of rustling. Furiously Google's the... elf, ears, elf years to human years conversion rate. <laughs> <laughs> you hear Baxter setting up, like, a, a sniper lookout, essentially, on top of the hut. And She's then 24 Eden in is... human years. <laughs> <laughs> Eden is just sitting and, like I said earlier, she's not reading, but more, like, skimming through the journal kind of desperately. Any final things before we start heading to town? Hey, uh, Laszlo, don't you have something I can kind of fix things magic-wise? Don't you have something? Do you have anything you need fixed? Yeah, I've, yeah I can... I... Well, didn't Eden mention something about needing something fixed? Last, we'll look towards Eden. If something needs fixed. Did I need something fixed? Didn't Someone said something about constructs or something. Oh, uh, 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 that, <coughs> uh, not quite. Something. That, no, uh, that's not a thing that can be easily. Can be mended, okay. Not worth a try, at least. Um, if anything, um, I think in my bat, let me refer to Laszlo's inventory real quick. If anything, since I, I if I'm not really going to use it here, um, yeah, I, th I think I have some spare poisons. If you want to bring those along with you, Ithquint. I'm not really good with using poisons. How are you eating? You know, uh, dip a dagger in poison. Eden, so make sure you're not going to poison yourself. Uh, sorry, sorry, I was reading what, huh? You know how to use poison? I I have done it once. Want some poison? Sure. And yeah, you know. okay. I've got about three vials worth, uh, two vials of acid, a oh, um, <laughs> a healing potion, um, a vial of questionable stuff. I'm not sure what that is. It was from one of those ooze piles that we came across. I don't think that's really of any use. Any, the stuff that will be of use to you folks. Um, three vials of poison, uh, two vials of acid, and a healing potion. I'll take, I'll take the poison. All three? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I guess I'll hold on to the healing for now. Can always pass it around to the Yep, yep, so, okay, cool, yep, so he'll toss the healing potion to Ithquin, um, he'll clarify to uh, Eden, to make sure that you're applying this right before you're going to use it, otherwise it's it's going to evaporate before before it's going to be effective, so it's, it's very, very, very short-lived. She knows. Okay. And acid? Anyone? N not that kind of acid, but <laughs> acid? Anyone? <laughs> 
<laughs> I imagine just down. like doing <laughs> eating her guns. Do you have that kind of acid? No. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. Why'd you bring it up? <laughs> yeah, why'd you even bring it up then? I just wanted to clarify. I don't have that. So, is there a plan? Or are we just going in, balls out, uh, killing Dithe? Dithe slash whoever the other ghost lady was you were talking about. You just kill things. whatever the hell that is. The people more intelligent than I. We were given this sword that would be... It, the sword is more effective against Forgotten, right? The yeah, Galicus that's correct. Sword. Yes. Anyone have any idea if that thing would be a Forgotten? If I were to guess, I would say no. Maybe. Maybe. Actually, now that you think about it, uh, does... <sighs> Would Lazlo do a check for that? Either way, he's gonna fuck it, but... <laughs> you can make a check. Okay. Uh, I would say... That's tough. Like History, I guess? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that'd be my first guess, too. Okay, we'll have Lazlo do a history check real quick. Let me pull up a sheet. And, okay... <laughs> yeah. He's turbo fucking that. He's turbo fucking that. So with a negative seven, no, you do not know. Oh, it's only in single digits still. I thought it was in double digits. Already. No, you're at negative minus seventeen to a negative seven. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Either way, yeah. Either way, he's just you're close to being able to be useful again. So. <laughs> No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, I got, I got, yeah, no, no, I thought I had something, I, I got nothing. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. All right. <laughs> Eden kind of looks around. What's a forgotten, exactly? That's the best I can do, Ellie. That's beautiful, honestly. <laughs> I, might, I think I might actually use that. <laughs> well, Lazlo's happy to blind. Well, I see a forgotten. Um, you see here, um... I'm not sure how aware you are of the goings on outside of Vettenberg right now. We haven't been able to leave in about four years. Four years, your time, or what do you mean, my time? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Well, you see, um, outside of Edinburgh, <laughs> you see, outside of Edinburgh, um, basically. It's more or less limbo. You don't go to an afterlife. You're kind of stuck here. And when, depending on the circumstances of how you die, um, you might become a nasty little thing called a forgotten, where you just reincarnate into just the worst aspect of yourself, if you will. Oh, that's... Uh bad he, yeah he's just like he's, he, like he's looking to the side and uh, you don't say like as he's not like you're like, not saying it's just, it just it, the way he's nodding is gonna uh, imply he's uh, uh, no shit sherlock yeah yeah she'll kind of look over to bryce what did he mean my time uh bryce will look to ellie and be like i missed what he said uh, uh, terrifying. Where I'm like, how long has like you know, you know, judging by your time, where you know, like, oh, you know out, you dropped the ball there, yeah. It was outside of yeah. No, no, I get what you mean time. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, uh, oh, you see, you see, oh, yeah. Never mind. It is never mind. Anyway, bad well, sometimes when a mommy timeline loves a daddy timeline, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're actually it that. all gets <laughs> fucked. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, long story short, hey, out, outside there, when you die, you don't go to another. You don't. You, you don't go to an afterlife. Yeah. You're just reincarnated here. In, you can may or may not be reincarnated here into something really bad. And she, yeah, she she looks at Bryson. What? What does he mean, my time? Um, it's a great question. Thanks, Lazlo. You want a simp? <laughs> you want a okay, simp? Okay, simple answer. We're not from this plane. We're from somewhere else. We fell in a hole. Now we're here, and apparently time goes faster here. Oh, so you're from like a, a an alternate universe? Well, sort of. 
But not like, quite. Like a clone one of ours or something? No, not we're, we're both from we're both from Faerun. There's different planes, like right. plane of there's elements and things like that. But our plane is different from your plane. And apparently, yours time goes faster. That's about it. No, no, no. It was. No, or, or, or we'll clarify that at the point. It's rather. Uh, you, where where we are now used to be from, be a part of where we came from. After the calamity happens, that's no longer a thing. And now you're on your own timeline in your own as far so, as we are as far as we know, your own plane of existence. So what does time move like two times faster? It's been like what, ten years in your time? <laughs> I I have people I need to see. I, I can't afford the possibility of them dying while I'm here, apparently. We've yet to figure that out, but yeah. thank you, Laszlo, for freaking her out. Uh, so it's been ten years out there? We don't know. What happens? Is the calamity over? Yes. It's safe to say the calamity has ended. Calamity is over and there's nothing on the horizon that could even look resemb- closely resemble yet. Our... <laughs> what is... <laughs> so good. What was the time? What was the the thing? It was like a day. One a week, week is a year. Yeah, one week is a year. It's yeah. yeah. Right. So I've, time I've, is I've actively I've... lied to her that we don't know yeah. how long we've been here. <laughs> Just as a reminder for chat and everything, time is about fifty-two times faster. Yeah, like it's, that's the difference. It's just fucked. It's like yeah, he, oh, he, he was way off the mark regardless. I'd Let me ask you a question. All of you actively there... heard me lie to the little girl. <laughs> yeah, you all heard Bryce lie. <laughs> How long has it been since you've seen the person you need to see again? Um, seven years. He left when mom died, and that was two years before the calamity. He was. Seven. And what type? And he, he was a half elf. No, he was a high elf. He's a high elf. Okay, he's still al- he's still he's still alive. He's still alive if something hasn't killed him. If it's been so long, he's probably famous after ten years. Uh, uh, Siegfried, he's an alchemist and a, uh, a mechanist. Have you heard of him? Would Laszlo remember anything about a popular alchemist? Like, way no. back aeons ago. <laughs> You've never heard is, the name. Why does Siegfried sound familiar from, like, the pirate campaign? <laughs> Siegfried also sounds familiar, but I think it's because I'm watching a show with a character named Siegfried in it. So it also doesn't help that Siegfried is like a, like a prominent like folk, like Germanic folklore hero. Yeah, yeah. Bryce does, very, does Bryce recognize the name from history? No. Well, um, Bryce might actually roll a history check. Well, You're basically the only well. one who would. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I study dead things. It's not just the dead. Like Laszlo might know from alchemists, but even then, again, jawbone. But hey, even we're not with trying the Silas to save. Really that's only on eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, you remember someone a few hundred years ago who they were on the verge of something great. They were doing automaton work, and it looks like they were about to revolutionize everything. And then they disappeared. Well, I can't say the name strikes any remembrance to me, but I spent most of my life amongst the humans and digging through ruins. But once we all get out of here, we'll be sure to reunite you with him. I mean, I, I just need a quick visit, is all. Just assuming he's still alive, yeah. I mean, it's only been ten years. He's a high elf, so I doubt, you know, old age and, kill him over. I mean, yeah. Uh, how old was he before the calamity? Um, he was about. I mean, he dedicated nearly two hundred years to research, so probably a little, little older than that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, however quickly a slowly time moves, we shall hope that everyone we love is still alive when we get back. But drowning on that thought will only waste our morale and our energy. I say we make our way for the town. She nods and puts her journal away, pulls out her daggers. Let's go. Yeah, it's good luck. Last call on those vials of acid. <laughs> she'll, all right, she'll hold her hand. She'll take them. How many? Uh, two vials of acid.
I last, see. Nah, not last, though. If quits. Yeah, let me pull those out of Laszlo's bag now. What's, what's up? If you follow me to the other room real quick, I want you to help me grab something. You just hear in your head, all right, what the hell do you want to talk about? This is going to follow you. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, just, like, walk in and, like, act like we're picking something up. I'm just, uh, I know it's probably cruel to lie, but none of us know if we're even going to make it out of this place, so why destroy her reality so quickly? We're making out of here. And after all, if it's been seven years and they're an elf, as long as something hasn't killed them, probably... My estimates are around 350 or so, give or take. So she'll be fine. Whoever it is will be significantly older, but as long as something hasn't killed them outside of old age, they're fine. Right, but... We're getting out of here. I guess I just felt bad for lying. I needed to get it off my chest, so... That's alright. Well then, let's say we go kill this ghost bitch, huh? Sounds like a plan. We give you just a hard pat on the back. <laughs> ah, love that camaraderie. <laughs> just, just <takes> <laughs> <laughs> all right. Last little um, Baxter, should we all die? Defend us with defend this place with your lives, because it will surely take them. Baxter nods. <laughs> <laughs> um, see so you all start going. Yep. You all head. You make your way to the town. It's getting colder. The warm air is beginning to dissipate, and there's more and more snow beginning to fall. The air is tinted purple until eventually you reach the lip of the town. And looking down, you see the swarm of undead you saw before, but it seems like there's a few more additions, ones that seem larger or more almost like two or three undead formed together to form new beings and uh kind oh. of just above the very middle of the town that um what the fuck's it called fountain you see uh this creature this undead floating creature holding the orb with these weird spines erupting out of its back and if kind of turns in midair to face you and you see it smile and it holds its hand up and curls a finger to beckon you into the town. And that's where we're going to call it. Well, well, well. If it ain't the damnedest Ma. thing. That damn barrier didn't work too good. And you fucking kill Eden. That's the biggest fucking problem. Did you say you might kill Eden? No, I said they almost killed Eden. That's the uh, biggest fucking problem. Jesus. All right. Um, like, so that was an oof of a session. How do you all feel? Can't wait to kill what? this fucking ghost bitch. Bye, stream. <laughs> like, it's one thing to just fuck with us and be like, nah, I'm not going to change Thanks the barrier, everybody for actually. Watching. Go fuck yourself. But you almost killed child. Wyatt, if you're still online, I, mean, I could probably hop here online Neve the whole, Here Neve the whole time was just like... Um, oh yeah, and oh my god, Neve is so, he's a racist. That was a surprise to us. No, and racism aside, it's like, I told you guys we could have just nuked them while they were vulnerable, but no. <laughs> we gotta be sneaky. <laughs> I think this was a really good session.